Hello, neighbors. Welcome or welcome back to the neighborhood. I'm Squealer D and I am back again. And this time, neighbors, we are back with Amy Marion and not just any Amy Marion commentary video. This is a week in the life of Amy Marion. That's right, neighbors. We're going from September 19th through September 25th, we are going to go on a roller coaster ride. Get ready, neighbors. We are going to reveal the secrets of Amy Marion, not only her nasty cooking, but also who's on vacation. Where did they go? Who are they seeing? That's right, guys. We have it all right here in this video. Stay tuned. Buckle up. Let's see what Amy's up to. Let's go. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going wonderful. I was feeling like fall themed here. You're having a great Yay, fall themed decorations. Her computers have new screensavers. Yes. Great day today. Today is Thursday. Happy Thursday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going So is this a flashback? Are we going crazy no this is amy marion abusing batch filming that's right ladies and gentlemen amy marion is it appears is making stale batch content that is why it's hard for us to follow her videos she doesn't just film every day she films several times a day or she films several days all at one time that is why Thursday, September 14th, which is five days earlier, looks exactly the same as Tuesday, September 19th. She is doing as much as she can in as little amount of time as she can so that she can make the most amount of money with the least amount of work. And in doing so, she misleads, lies, and confuses her followers. It's pretty foul. Well, my morning is going great. I'm up and ready for my day. So today I got up, came up to my office, and I'm like, what shall I do today? I went downstairs, got another cup of coffee, and I looked around, and I'm like, everything's clean. Do I start working? Everything's clean, but she tells us all the time she needs to deep clean that her house is dirty. Which is it, Amy? Is your house clean, or is your house dirty? Does your house stink, or is it perfectly clean? Which is it? down there? Do I start making food? I'm like, you know what? I'm up here in my office. Why don't I focus on my office? Because this is the mess I got going on here. I never even fill that out. I gotta fill my calendar out. When you can do... She's had that thing for like a year and she never fills it out. Come on, Amy. Don't act like you have it filled out all the time. Usually, you never have it filled out. You're cleaning. Like, I come up here every day and there's stuff. I've seen that straw on that window for a long time and I'm like, it's okay. It's gonna be there. I'm gonna clean. Hardcore depression. Looking at messes it looking at the mess and then walking past it hardcore depression clean it eventually it's like you know you're gonna do it one day and you get to it so why don't i just clean this room up here why don't you just clean it up when you walk past it the first time it's a straw just pick it up grab it take it with you amy it's very simple and then we'll go downstairs you're teaching your children horrible habits by leaving mess all over the place this is teaching them that it is okay to have mess all over the place after school, we'll do our school and stuff, and then we'll do some food today. It'll be a great day. You ready for a good day? All right. I got my Norwex. This one's wet. This one was sitting on this one's a little bit wet. Yay, she's got her Norwex cloths. They're magical, guys. Did you know that Norwex doesn't even claim that those cloths fight the germs? Just that there's silver in them, and that keeps them from having quite as many germs as a normal rag. They're not magic, Amy. You still need to use disinfectant and things to clean up your house. Please. That's why your children are always sick. Um, screens off, things like that, get that clean, but leave these out because it is going to be time to go to the dentist. I just... Yeah, it's going to be time, and everybody wants to pick their dentist from a stack of flyers. Amy, you say you go to church. Just ask some of the women at church what dentist they use. Ask around. Call around. There's also Yelp, you know? Yelp. Yes, it's been like one of those things where it just takes time. It takes time. Let's see, are you okay? No. It doesn't sound like she's okay. It sounds like your desk is falling apart just the same way your refrigerator is, or your um, stove is falling apart. Everything in your house is falling apart. Cough up a hairball. She's down there. Cough up a hairball. Go ahead, just choke. I'm not going to check on you. Go ahead, choke down there. No, we just need a little bit of cleaning. So a good wipe. It won't be good. This is riveting content, Amy. 
this is what your followers wanted to see. When they said that they would watch anything, they were hoping that you would come up here and clean your desk drawer. Like, yes. In the desk, it's always good to wipe everything out. I just realized these are up here. Are these charged? Are these the ones that are double? It's good. This is actually. It's good. Yes. Mystery of the $16 headphones solved. Yeah. Radical, man. And you thought your kids set you up and stole your headphones. Earbuds. How did I miss this? I don't even know. These need to be charged and taken downstairs to my bed. <laughs> taken downstairs to my bed. <laughs> what do you need them in your bed for? Does Gregory snore and you have to put headphones in at night? Like, what the heck? This, this is really good smelling stuff. And I'm like... I wonder where she got that from. I'm like Googling it. I'm like, oh, Kohl's. She always liked to shop at Kohl's. So I have a little bit left of this. Good lotion. Co the last of her mom's lotion. Go ahead. Waste it up, baby. Just like you did the candle. Just waste it up. What she's really doing, people, is grifting. She keeps showing things that her mother gave her that is running out. Oh, it's almost gone. It's the last from my mommy. So that somebody will send her more. Just like she did with the towels, that's what Amy does. She grifts. She wants free stuff. Amy loves free stuff. It's like the last little bit on my candle, so. And she liked coconut. She liked coconut, vanilla candles, and then the lotion. So this always smells good. I'll use this in here. I've got a little bit left in here. Okay. So I have a list. List everywhere for everything. That's, that's my uh, problem. You have lists, but they're not helping you. Perhaps you should try something different, Amy. There's other ways to get things done than just making a list. I think I have piles of stuff, so this stuff I need to take downstairs. Let me get out my labeler for this. And then the only thing I do keep over here is all of our bills because I'm um, like, it's not just like simple and easy like I used to in the mountains. I have a little bit more here and I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Right now, each month I have this and then I take and then when I pay them, I mark them down and I just rewrite this. Just Hold on. How don't you know what your bills are and how to pay them, Amy? Aren't they the same every month? This You're going on four months of being there now. Four months. You haven't set up automatic withdrawal, automatic pay. It's easy, Amy. You're stressing way too much about the littlest things. Why are you worried so much about money? Did you overextend yourself when you moved into a $650,000 house? What is up, Amy? You should be honest with your viewers. I know that they don't need to know everything about your life, but you tell them so much anyway. Why not just be honest with what you tell? Of like what do we have to pay? What are our bills? Those kind of things. I had some chocolate cereal last night. 170 calories for one ounce. It's like having a Snickers, Amy. You could have had a half of a Snickers bar, and that's if you only ate one ounce. What if you ate three ounces? That bowl that you have there is like a three or four ounce bowl. If that was full, you could have eaten over 400 calories of that snack. <clears throat> Uh-oh. This will be my, I hate having piles of stuff, but I will, tonight I will look. You hate having piles of stuff, but your entire house has piles of stuff. These up, just do a quick Google. You can do a quick Google and find out about everybody. You're going to have to have a pile. Yeah, it's called Yelp, Amy. And people put their opinions, and you could see if they were, like, nice, if they're good with kids. Yeah, Yelp. Until I go through this, and that's okay. I can leave that over here. Let me wipe this corner off here. Wipe it off, because you need your magic rag to remove all the germs. Eventually, probably nice to get a little, some kind of board to stick these on. I know it's much better to stick them to the wall like a 10-year-old 10, 10 child. It looks way better. You know, in your $650,000 house, it looks great. Just keep up encouraging scripture here. Once the Lord's giving me a card, this is my grocery list, right? Or my grocery menu right here. So each morning I can look and say, oh, I still have this, this, and this. Four, I have four of them at our home all the time. And so I have them doing pretty much set ones each day. They're pretty much the same, but I do have this list of extra that I'm like, okay, these are ones that we forget about doing. I need to put down somewhere because I'm gonna forget to do them, but um, they can do those. So it works out. So I just put them there today just as my reminder so I can text somebody and say, hey, you're going to clean mom's car up. Thank you, man. Why is it the children's job to clean your car? Yes, I understand they ride in your car, but it is your car. Amy, you are not teaching the children the correct things that they are going to need. They do not need to know how to clean out a car to survive in life. You know what they do need to know how to do? Read. 
wipe it, do the windows, that kind of stuff. So just my little reminder, someone asked about the kids being in the pool by themselves. They are older to swim, but um, I do like to keep an eye on them because anything can happen. So I do, um, if I'm up here, and there's been a couple times this week that I had a couple of them in there and I'm like, okay, let me just keep an eye on you. So I just turned on our security cameras and watched them, but it was through my phone. So I'd like to keep this up here. Just so you think that you watched your kids through a phone screen was watching them and protecting them from accidents in the pool, Amy? That is not safe whatsoever. The kid is going to be dead by the time you see it on your little tiny phone screen and there is nothing you could do. Are you literally losing your mind? You're not doing anything watching them swim on this little tiny screen as you're doing work. That's ludicrous. Don't be ludicrous. If your children need you to watch them, get your big behind out there and watch them in person. My gosh, this people drown every single day. If your children are not competent swimmers and you do not trust them, you need to get out there with them, watching them on a little tiny three-inch screen. You should be ashamed of yourself as a mother for even admitting that. If your children are strong swimmers, just say that. Don't say you watch them. That's a lie. Watch them on that screen. That is ludicrous. And she's like, I am sleepy. Some, people, some of you have Jack Russell Chihuahua dogs. Is your dog crazy, like wild, or is she just a very chill dog? Maxine is not. Maxine is not anything, Amy. Maxine does not have any type of character because Maxine doesn't have any type of training. You don't work with Maxine. You don't play with Maxine. You don't train Maxine. You do nothing with Maxine. Maxine is a barking mess. She is anxious, and you never, ever, ever, ever take her for a walk. She's overweight. Maxine, we don't know what Maxine is other than unhealthy. Don't act like your dog is something special. What your dog is is unhealthy. That hyper, it's like she's a, the chillest dog ever. It's very hard for an overweight dog to be hyper, right? It's very hard for a dog that doesn't have anybody to play with it to want to go play. Get out of here, Amy. Read about dogs. Learn about dogs. But I guess that would take you learning about something. And you won't even learn about parenting. Because I didn't feel good. She will live with me all day. Like she, I know this weekend, she was, um, I was laying on the couch and she, she just came and lay with me. It's like, she'll jump down, take her ball and kind of like play with it for a minute. That is her telling you she wants to play. If Maxine jumps down and gets the ball and nudges it, she's saying, come on, mom, let's play some ball. I'm bored. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I want something. She's showing you, Amy. Dogs can't speak. Do you expect her to tell you, get down here, play with me, lady? It's not going to happen. She's a dog. You need to take the cues that she's giving you, like playing with the ball and then jumping back sad on the couch like, womp, womp, womp. My mommy doesn't want to play with me. She just jumped back up on the couch and slept. I'm like, this dog will sleep like her, but she can be crazy wild. Depression even makes animals sleep more. Run and have so much energy as well, too. So it's just, I'm just thankful, I guess, for a chiller dog. And she's the exception to the rule, or are there other chill dogs out there? I say. I think she's the exception to the There's a lot of overweight dogs out there that cannot be as active as they need to be. Lots. It's very sad but maybe not so okay this area is good for me right now I should just it looks almost exactly the same except for she doesn't have the pile of papers up there do my calendar right now let me get my marker out for this this is good enough for me so she sat there and filled out this calendar guys and then she blocked it out so she filled it out just to block it don't worry though I know what it says down here this is November 4th, and that is their anniversary. So she wrote anniversary and put a little heart. Up here is October 3rd, and that is Autumn's birthday. So she wrote Autumn. And then on these days, she wrote different children's names, and then the doctor and a time. So these are her children's doctor's appointments, which is what I'm guessing she blocked out. But Amy, why even write them down if you were just going to turn around and block them? What is wrong with you? This is my pile of stuff. Do you know how I got that information, Amy? All I did was pause it before you blocked it. It's very easy. You think that you are giving your children privacy and you don't know how to edit. You don't know how to work on, do anything on YouTube. You need to educate yourself before you show some information that could be really detrimental to your life. 
This is school papers that I printed out for Autumn. I see them there and I remember, oh, give her a school page. But it goes outside. Oh, Autumn still goes to school? That's right, she's in high school. She'll be done next year. Can you guys believe that? Autumn just turned 15. But in next year, Amy will let her graduate. What the heck? Um, so now we have to see Amy stand here this whole time with this blocked out on her face because she didn't think it through because she filled out her calendar and then blocked it out. Why didn't she fill out her calendar at the very end? Who knows? She doesn't plan anything. She just spitballs it and hopes for the best. Smacked it. It's the shelf for the Google Home. I got this from Timu. And my glass. I bet it was the kids that broke it. She blames the kids for breaking everything, but she's clumsy. Yeah, that makes sense. This can be over here. Probably get to clean them. Riveting content, Amy. I left this in here just so we could all see how long it takes you to clean your glasses and that you thought that this was good, good quality content for your followers. People that support you, that pay your mortgage, you thought that they deserved to not only see you clean your not dirty office, but also your glasses. And I've been sitting here, I don't even know, I don't know how I get these. I don't know, I'm not even sure how I get these. They come in my, my mailbox, but. She doesn't know how she gets these guys. They come in her mailbox. She doesn't know how to cook either. She doesn't really know very much of anything, but she makes content every day so that she can get paid on YouTube. I'll do is I'll go through, pick out if there's anything I like and see, take a picture of it, and then I will put it on my computer in my food planning folder. So I'm gonna stick that up there because over here on my chair, it's getting nothing done. I don't do anything with it. And then my purse, I'm gonna go through that real quick. Oh yes, riveting. The purse content is the best content. How many women wish you could pay your rent with going through your purse? Amy, you are taking advantage of your followers. This is not showing anybody how to keep a clean purse. You're not helping anybody. You're providing nothing for these people. You are providing yourself with content so you can make money. Why don't you try being useful, Amy? Okay, the funny thing is I've been, um, I have like five of these. That's it. I think I bought a five pack. Um, these are my favorite pens, the Bic Atlantis, and I couldn't find any. I'm like, where? I would come up here and I have like one I take downstairs, another one I kept in my purse where I thought it was, and then this I was like, where are the other ones at? And I'm like, I had a note. I'm like, do you guys take any of my pens out of my office? What so she had to ask her kids about her $5 pens because, gosh darn it, those are her pens. Which is fine. I just need them to know that those are my pens. I need to return them. She needs them to know that those are her darn pins and they better keep their grubby little freaking paws off of them. But guess what guys, her kids didn't have her pins. She had them her whole time, the whole time in her purse. <laughs> I bet her kids freaking just love her. And they were just on the outside of my purse. So this yeah, they're just in her purse. Yeah. needs to go in my desk. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep my gift cards here. I'm gonna put these. Look at all those gift cards. And the bakery thinks you spend your money on, on Starbucks. Amy does not spend her own money. Amy spends your money on Starbucks. Amy spends the bakery's money because they're always watching her on Starbucks. I don't want to add up the amount of Starbucks because I think she pays for it. I want to add up the amount of Starbucks because what else could she have bought? If she wasn't asking for Starbucks gift cards, she could have asked for Lowe's gift cards and painted her house. She could have bought decorations for her house. Amy never worries about the right thing. She's always worried about the wrong thing, and it shows. It shows in her life every single day. Little tiny change purse. There's nothing. There's a bunch of stuff in it. What does this have in it? It has hair ties and a tape measure and candy. Yeah, you need tape measure and candy. Let's see what her candy is for. What do you guys think her candy is for? Church candy because it keeps you awake when you're in church. Yeah. Candy, it keeps you awake in church. Never have I ever heard of somebody who enjoys going to church say that they need candy to keep them awake in church. I noticed like in North Carolina, I'd have to use my inhaler more. Maybe it just, I, don't, I could never pinpoint when it was. And I had a lot more sinus congestion. Here, like today I woke up, my eyeballs were like, so like they were raw. Like I came out, James like, are you okay, mama? <laughs> I said, yes, I'm okay. I'm like, She's like, are you sure? But Gregory said that there were no allergies in Florida. What happened? Your eyeballs were raw. It's really telling, Amy. You want to move so badly from Florida. It, everything sucks for you. 
the beach sucks, your house sucks, your church sucks, the weather sucks, the little critters that call around, they suck. You have no discount stores, and that sucks. Lauren isn't there, and Lauren was your best friend, and that sucks. Your neighborhoods suck. Your neighbors suck. The HOA really sucks. Your insurance in Florida, everybody knows that sucks. Greg definitely sucks. Your pool, it's stinky, and it sucks. The fridge, it sucks. Um, the, but the butler pantry, you want to rip that out. That really sucks. The wallpaper sucks. The lawn sucks. It all sucks sucks Amy I'm sorry but you know what it's better than being dead right look at the bright side I said yes my eyeballs I just woke up and I'm rubbing them so they were real swollen this week so it's just different here I think is what I've got here so different equals sucks what are you gonna do nothing and, and you know move out west maybe out west would be drier who knows no I'm not moving anymore no more moving I can kind of no more moving why, Amy? You could probably leave another kid or two behind. Brooklyn, Jaden, you'd be left with only four. Perfect. So, what is this, Amy, looking out your window? Here they stacked up the bricks, like she said. It, what are you going to do, Amy? Stack up the bricks to cover the bullet holes? Or are you going to stack up the bricks and hopefully keep Maxine from screaming and barking at the other dogs? What, what is this? Or is your fire pit going here? which I would worry about melting this fence. I don't know, guys. It doesn't look good. They're just building brick walls around their house now. Eventually, but it's going to get the vacuum going downstairs, and the pool has got to clean. The pool does not look clean around the edge. Stuff out. Or it's doing good. It'll come out. It'll be sunny here eventually. It'll be sunny here eventually. Amy, you are ridiculous being disappointed about the weather. It's weather. Grow up. Who cares about the weather? You have a pool in your backyard. You can go out anytime. You don't need to cry about the weather. I'm going to um, make something this morning before we start school. Someone thinks someone told me to make applesauce baked donuts, and I thought, genius. But I went upstairs. I had to make a phone call. Phone call. <laughs> Getting kids appointments. So I got on the phone. It was an eye appointment. Every single person in the United States makes appointments for themselves and their children unless they are abusive. It's not anything new, Amy, and you knew you were going to have to do it before you moved. Perhaps you should have called around and did all of this before you moved. Dental as well, so it just takes time. It takes time to make all those, so that's where I was at for at least a good... I've never, since I've been watching Amy, seen her kid take her kids to the dentist. Or even like mention taking them to the dentist. 45 minutes here. So what I'm going to do now is just stop filming for you guys. And then I'll finish my day this afternoon. Probably the sun is out. I know. But it looks like you finished your day. You finished your day and you recorded another day. Why does it look like that, Amy? Why does it look like you film multiple days all in one day? Probably do swimming and um, we're going to do school. So we're going to do that right now. I think there's, I'm sure there's enough. I know there's leftovers. There's egg biscuity things still. There is um, also stuff for lunch. We got hamburgers and we still have lasagna. We have chicken pot pie. So all that's in there. No food. Egg biscuity things and those hamburgers. How long ago were those hamburgers made? Until dinner tonight. So I'll be back in a little bit after we do school. All right, so my after oh, those were good school clips, Amy. Leave the clips out. Nobody needs proof that you do schooling except for you. You need to prove that you do schooling for Florida State Board of Education. You do not need to prove to your followers that you do homeschool. Stop it. You don't want, the kids don't want to be shown. You don't need to show that. You look abs absurd standing there pretending to teach your children every day. It's absurd. Okay, we know you don't school your children. You unschool them. You already told us. We already know your children have problems reading. We get it, Amy. Just drop the schooling stuff. You don't need to be teaching other women how to do anything that you do. Please, stop making other women bad parents. Stop making other women bad teachers. 30. The day just flies by, but we got our school done, which is a good thing. I got some things done this morning, so I'm like, that's in the positive. I had a bunch of phone call, and that's... All the, ugh, the insurance stuff, but got that done. So I'm thankful for that. So I'm going to whip dinner together here. I have to leave in a few minutes to get Brooklyn. We're going to do tacos because you know why? Tacos are easy and good. So and when has Amy ever done anything that took time and hard work? What I'm going to do, I'm going to do. I'll wait. You drop it in the comments.
um, taco meat, refried beans, and some rice. Very simple. The refried beans already cooked, but they're not refried beans. They're just blended pinto beans. And the meat, how much meat, Amy? A half a pound of meat, a quarter pound of meat for your whole family. How much meat are you feeding your family in these tacos? I'll tell you how much. As little as she can get away with so she can save money. Like nothing to it. Okay, so my day got a little bit busy here this afternoon. I had, we did all of our school, which was good. And then um, just ran to like a little bit of... They read the books and stuff, you know. They read their books and did addition and subtraction flashcards. Busyness, craziness where I had to like attend to a bunch of different things. So it like threw me off. So I was like trying to cook the dinner. I wonder what that is. Like when she says, I got, I had to deal with a bunch of busyness and craziness. I wonder what she considers that. Before I got broken, I had about a half hour. And like the refried beans they were they burned on the bottom <laughs> that pan, I'm like so the the beans that were already cooked all she had to do was heat them up she burnt them you know why because she didn't defrost them she took them out frozen she put them in a pan and she burnt them up because amy doesn't care about food for her children watch when she cooks for herself she cares she tastes it she makes sure it's cooked but when it's for her kids she does not care she will burn it to smithereens and back and then make them eat it and say, it's good, it's great, it's delicious. It's good enough for what, Amy? For YouTube? For your kids? For your standards? Like, what is it good enough for? Oh my goodness, so I was like, I just gotta go. So I just had to shut everything off and I had to go pick her up. I came back and I'm like. So now, not only does the channel have to wait so that you could pick up Brooklyn, your kids have to eat burnt food so you could pick up Brooklyn. How much money is Brooklyn paying you from this job that you're willing to do all of that? Burnt. Tastes a little burnt, like through the whole thing, but that's okay. I put some. That's okay. She put some water in it and she made the kids eat it anyway. It's good. It's great. It's delicious water in there they'll be fine they'll be fine it'll be good and then um taco meat just put the taco season in this i added um tomato base bouillon and then the saison i think it's called saison complete Sa she thinks it's called saison she says that every time but she doesn't know and she will never ever learn saison complete just saison goya saison miss deb deborah's delicious dishes always uses it so use some of that in there that will come to a boil and i'll turn it down and then the only thing i'm gonna do is cut some lettuce up here. I'm just going to do part of it. I'll wash it and I got a tomato and an onion. She will wash it, but she will not use a salad spinner to get it dried out because she loves wet salad. The wetter, the better. And, and, then, um, and then we'll have tortillas and we'll probably get some Doritos, like some Cool Ranch Doritos. I have. And she will smash the crap out of them because nobody gets whole Doritos in her house but her and Greg. Squish those and we're going to do like a layered taco with the tortilla, the Doritos, and you can add the meat, the beans, and I got cheese over here. It's frozen because, you know, plan ahead. Because Amy has never, ever, ever planned ahead. Even though she knows she has to cook for her channel and she knows she has to cook for her children, she will not plan ahead because she doesn't care about their quality of their food. I think that's going to be it after I get this done. And then I'm like... That's okay. I was going to do more. I was going to even make some treats and stuff, but I think that tonight the kids are going to run to the um, Dollar General store and get uh, we have a little birthday box to make. And so I thought, why don't we do that tonight? I was going to do it tomorrow. I'm like, why don't we A birthday box. She could have showed the birthday box, but she's going to buy such crap for it that she doesn't want to show it. The birthday box is for Evan. It's Evan's birthday on September 22nd, I think it is. And I wonder why she's mailing the birthday box to him back chill i think maddie's got a whole box of charades here we, <laughs> i think this is clueless we want to play some charades so we'll play some charades tonight i don't know if we'll go swimming it's been cloudy and dreary outside it's warm like dreary and rain. it's like just looks can you see outside one of those days it's so sad amy you should cry because it's dreary and sad amy why do you let the weather decide how you feel that's not very smart you can be happy even when the weather is crappy. It's not one of those days where you want to go swimming because it's not very inviting. And that's okay. We can skip one day today. That's good. You don't have to swim in that pool every day. Don't lie to your children and tell them they have to swim or it's going to mold. You do not have to use your pool every day. So you should use your shower every day, though. I think that's how we'll end our night tonight. So sometimes I will. Yesterday was a long day. Today, maybe I'll end a little bit early because I still have a lot of computer stuff to do. Because I have to go up there and do emails and a bunch of stuff that I got to send over for the, ta you know, all the insurance stuff like that. So it's good. So let's chop these up. I'll make a little thing right here on a cutting board. 
wow, you really went all out today, Amy. You really worked hard today. Like, I think that you must not be pregnant because if you were pregnant, you would actually be working hard on this channel. You're not working nearly hard enough, Amy. You've given up on this channel. It's really sad to see. 143,000 followers and you threw it away because you're too lazy to keep doing the work. <sighs> Easy night. What we got going right here? We'll squish. Well, there's what we got going right here. We'll squish the hell out of these. We'll eat wet lettuce, throw it on some of here, and have it with the watermelon that was fuzzy. Sounds good. Shows up. Put them on here with the toppings. I have some watermelon. The refried beans will be over here, and the taco meat, and we'll have the rice. It's, it'll be good enough. That's the key. If you can get some chicken. It's not going to be good, but it will be good enough. I guess mac and cheese, I'll get those out. Whatever you can do for your day today. If you make a big giant meal, make a big giant meal. For myself, I wish I would have started earlier in dinner, but that's okay. This morning I was thinking about it and I'm like, eh, that's okay. Instead, she double recorded and made two videos or maybe three videos or maybe she made four videos. Who knows? And then it's no wonder she's always tired. If you record for four hours making four different videos, you're going to be exhausted. I won't. I wish I would have. <laughs> Maybe that was God saying, hey, get that done now because the afternoon's going to get a little crazy. He knows best, doesn't he? He does. So I'm going to be done. I'm going to close today's video. And She doesn't have anything to show for all these times that she gets so crazy busy. Like, she has nothing completed. There's no new projects she's done. The house doesn't get clean. She just says she does all this crazy busy stuff. But we don't see anything. It's wild. What are you really doing? You film in batches. So you're done filming and you have days off to do whatever you want. Amy, is your depression so bad that you're just sleeping all those days away? Then um, we're going to eat this in a little bit and just clean up the dishes, check over the individual school. And then I think we'll head out and go get some treats from our local Dollar General, get some treats and fill up a nice box and then I'll send that out. I think that'll be a good thing to do tonight. End our night with that and maybe watch some TV before we go to sleep. So, all right, you have a fantastic rest of your day. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. We got another video. Okay, see you tomorrow. You guys have been a great day today. All right, so here we are. This is the next day, Wednesday, September 20th. Look at her standing outside. I think this is the front of the house. There's her, that looks really jankety. But yeah, here she is. Good morning. Happy Wednesday, Amy. Today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. It's going very slow. Wednesday. Happy Wednesday morning to you. I hope that your oh, morning is going well. My morning is going. It's another Wednesday. This is the, the Wednesday previous to that Wednesday, seven days previous. And look at her hair the same, dress the same, earrings the same. What's going on, Amy? What's going on? Great. It's a little bit late. It's been a great day today. And then this is Wednesday, September 27th, seven days later. Three Wednesdays in a row, Amy. Is this your Wednesday outfit or did you film three Wednesdays in a row? Let me know in the comments if you think she is batch filming or if this is her Wednesday outfit. Today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going. It's going a little slow today. I woke up today. I had a little bit of a migraine headache today. A little crazy chaos once in a while. Nobody wants to hear about your headache, Amy. They want to hear the truth. Maybe you have a headache because you filmed three days or four days of filming all in one day. While in life and so sometimes it happens. Somebody's cutting something. And Somebody's cutting something. We know who's cutting something. Gregor told us he was going to make a house for your AC and your pump stuff, right? Your pool pump. He was going to make a pool pump house. He told us that the last time we saw him. We know what he's been doing, Amy. He hasn't been working. He's been making a pool pump house. Come on, Amy. We're not dumb. We know how to use our brains, even though you don't know how to use yours. And that was good. So I slept and got the rest I needed. And then I went outside and I swam in my pool for about... Four you can still hear a saw, Amy. It's not in your neighbor's yard. It's in your yard. He's sawing wood to make a house for the pump things. He already told us. He made a little... Um, walkway over to there and he was going to fix it. We already know this. Why do you lie? Why do you lie all the time? You're like Donald Trump. You just can't stop lying. Every time you open your mouth, it's a new lie. Nobody cares where your husband is. Nobody cares what your husband is doing. Nobody cares why there's noise in your backyard. If you're not going to tell the truth about it, just don't say anything. Problem solved. It's relaxing, and I came in, I was like, hmm, what are we going to do? Do I start with school? 
what do I even do today? So I'm like, I have to go shopping. The boys, we've been taking the girls to go clothes shopping. Everybody went, but the boys never actually went yet at all. They have stuff. And so I'm like, you know what? Today might be a good day to do that. So we're going to go head out. We're going to go out. I said, let's do something different for school day. Let's go out and go shopping. You can still hear him clearly cutting. She knows she can't film with him cutting. With him there cutting the, all of those parts, she can't keep filming. So she's going to take the boys and take them shopping. Like, just be honest, Amy. Say, Greg's back here working his butt off, and um, I don't want to show you guys yet because our HOA doesn't want us to do this or they don't know about it or something. Whatever your reason is, like, you just lie, and you make up excuses, and you say things that aren't true, and it looks incongruent for your followers, and it's not enjoyable to watch. And you look like a liar. So who would want to go and be a Christian when they see you as an example? A liar. Who? Tell me who, Amy. Go hit some stores. The boys are simple. The girl's like, are we going to be gone all day? I said, no, no, the boys are simple. They like, Stephen likes to shop. Jensen does not like to shop. So I said, it'll go so easy. And if your girls are shopper girls, why do they care about going shopping with the boys? Why wouldn't they want to go help you out with the boys? You said they were all shopper girls. They must not be really shopper girls. You're going to head over, I think TJ Maxx. We'll see. I think that's from, I used to find the closer. I don't know what it's going to be like here. And then um, we have to mail a package. The birthday package we put together. Um, we have to go to library. And Why'd you record this outside with him doing that? Why didn't you record inside? Or is he inside doing your butler's pantry? Whatever Gregory is cutting on right now, you could have just told people, Amy. This is ludicrous. We can barely hear over the saw, and then you don't mention the saw. A good day regardless of what we do today bring it along it's just an easier slower day we have some days like that that's what i'm sharing so all right i'm gonna go and get the kids and then we're gonna be heading out and we have a good day well, let's go she sure made sure she she complains so much about security she can't show this because it's security she has to film a week ahead because of security she has to do this but she walks in and shows you exactly what her post office box looks like on the inside and where you could stand if you wanted to come and attack her while she picks up her mail and she makes sure she lets us know she comes here once a week to pick it up too she brings her kids with her also so her P.O. box is listed in the description of every single video because she wants free stuff sent to her. And she goes by herself without her husband to go pick it up. But she's concerned about security. Give me a break, Amy. Somebody could attack you right now in the P.O. box. But you don't care. Your worry is not security. Your worry is getting free things, getting money from this. Grifting. got a package so she's happy she doesn't care about security she doesn't care that you could stand you could sit in a car parked outside this ups all week and wait for amy to come and you would find her but she doesn't care about that because she's getting free stuff all right done with post office dropped off my package to be shipped and picked up one from uh, looks like from a viewer here so now we're gonna go ahead and probably drop off the library next first stop jewelry okay we're getting two pairs of socks that's it wow two pairs of socks you guys are really grooving here old navy so she doesn't want to tell her followers because she's not allowed to talk about her grandkids, but these are for her grandsons. What about your granddaughter? What about your granddaughter, Amy? I don't see anything for your granddaughter here. I see something for Sam. He's about almost two years old at 18 to 24 months. This is for uh, Lauren's son, Sam. And this is for her son, Chuck. Little pumpkin. He's about six to 12 months. So you got something for Chuck. And you got something for Sam. But what about your other grandbaby? People probably don't even know her name. What's her name? Finley? Hinley? I don't know what her name is. Because you don't ever talk about her either. Imagine having three grandbabies that you don't talk about because your kids don't want you to talk about them. That's wild. That is wild. Why even show that you're buying them anything if you're not allowed to talk about them? found some cute little clothes boys got t-shirts steven got a little flannel cute things and some shoes we'll try them on stop so one bag guys one bag this lady only in old navy because she probably has old navy gift cards or old navy bucks and don't forget everybody thinks amy is broke all of this stuff she shows on her youtube channel she can use it as a tax write-off the kids' clothes, 
gasoline, McDonald's, anything this woman buys, groceries, if she uses it in a video, she can use it as a tax write-off. The bakery never knows what they're talking about. Amy is not poor. Amy is not broke. Amy does not need free shit. She just wants it. She likes it. And that is why she has the channel. Because she doesn't care about God. And she doesn't care about her children. Amy cares about getting free stuff for Amy. Hi, right, we got some Old Navy stuff. Which was good. We were able to get most all of Stephen's clothes here. Just some t-shirts for Jensen. So we're still looking for some shorts. Just got to go find them somewhere else. And we're going to go get some shorts. Imagine waiting until the end of the summer, until October, to find shorts for your son who only likes to wear shorts. She's told us numerous times that Jensen likes to wear shorts and slides. Imagine waiting until the end of the summer to go look for shorts and slides. Some shirts right here. We ran to Ross. We got one pair, so we're going to go. So she spent probably $200 total so far today. That's it, 200 do the other one. I don't know which one it is. We're in. This is a lady who bought a $650,000 house, though, spending $200 to clothe two of her children. We're in, we're, in the, we're in Ross right now, but there's another Marshalls, and we'll see if they have any shorts as well, because we just need, like, a couple pairs. That's what he likes to wear, so. It's October. You should have been looking for him shorts at the beginning of summer. I right, got one pair of shorts. Look at the Oh, it's a Range Rover. That's, like, me. That's Amy's new car. I wonder how many blood vessels those old gals at the bakery would just pop if she pulled up in this Range Rover. Fun, we found some shorts. We're very thankful for coming here. All right, let's go see where our right, we're, we're very thankful for coming here. You didn't have to wait until the end of summer to go looking for shorts, Amy. You do that because you're lazy. Come right over here. Slides. Oh, right, these are my okay. they, they comfy? Ooh. Did those even have a Reebok symbol on them or were those no box? Or Converse, I'm thinking Reeboks. I'm a dork box. Were those, did those even have a Converse symbol on them? I seen no such symbol. He got fake Converse. And this kid always wears slides. Jensen, wear some real shoes. These ones, they're the men's size. He can go from kids to men. So he wanted, he wanted these ones because they were like his old ones. He's like the comfort. So, Stor look at that storm brewing over there. We got what we need to get. Now we're gonna go to McDonald's because the boys get to choose McDonald's because they love it. And then we just have to go to Walmart. Probably has gift cards for McDonald's also. Walmart afterwards to pick up. There's Maddie doing a little dance for you, making sure she gets in the video. Amy. Pay attention to your daughter. She's 12 years old and she's crying out for attention. She dances and acts absurd in every video that you film of her because she needs attention. Please give Madeline some extra attention before she goes out on the internet and finds attention that you do not want her to have. Put her in some type of program at church. Give her something to do. She is begging for stimulation. Okay, you do not want her to find the wrong kind. Good. We made it inside before the rain. We're like, run, we're going to McDonald's. We made it just in time. Look at that. <laughs> Pour and rain. Oh my goodness. McDonald's brings your drinks to your table. How nice is that? We got some food right here. Delicious. Got a bag to spare and go home. That's not a bag to spare. That's a bag for Greg. Be honest. Be like, we're taking dad food home. Like, come on, Amy, just be honest. What the heck? Worked out really good. So the sun is coming out now. So it's perfect. Well, it's kind of rainy. But the sun is coming out and done raining. We're going to go shopping. All right. We got McDonald's. You've been shopping. You mean you're going to go keep shopping? No. So that was a good break. We're doing great for time today. We have to um, drop one of the kids off at church tonight. So we're going to try. And it's kind of kind of biased. Kind of. It's a little bit further away if we go home. So we're going to try to go to Walmart now and get there and then kill some time there. we got about an hour and 15 minutes. So we're going to do that. She's standing in the rain talking to us. Why, Amy? Why? Get in the car and talk. Tell your children to be quiet for a second. Look for clothes for the boys. Get a few things. I want to get a, and a dairy-free pizza for Jensen and then regular pizza for the kids. We're going to Walmart. So they just went to McDonald's and then she's going to go get them a pizza for dinner? Yes, Mom of the Year award. All right now, I got a clock for the pool. She got a $9 clock to replace the $25 clock that fell. What happened, Amy? You're downgrading your, your pool clock? Okay, so at Walmart, so we have to kill time really. Like that clock looked like the Ikea clocks that cost $3.98. You should have just waited and got it from Ikea. Ikea. 
back to we still have about 45 minutes to kill in here so we got some stuff the girls actually picked up we got some uh, t-shirts in here some more clothes for the boys picked up their anime ones got a sweatshirt white oh, hopefully we get the girls picked up some hoodies got a that is not called a hoodie that's called a flannel come on amy you're 50 years old you know the difference between a flannel and a hoodie pay attention actually care about what you're doing slow down take some time a belt and a lamp for outside so not bad no. that lamp is going to go flying in the next hurricane because she's not even going to put it up you saw her hurricane prep last time that lamp future projectile what oh, what will we be decorating within our house i don't even know where are you going to put your tree amy it'll be interesting to see what we end up doing i know brooklyn really likes this stuff oh look at that coconut vanilla i bet that's delicious it is because she has that one that is not how you get sponsors amy saying oh i bet you it's delicious it is because she has one that's weird you already knew it was delicious why would you say i bet you it's delicious you are a weird lady, Amy. That is not how you get a sponsor to sponsor your video. Okay, so we're just killing time is what we're doing. We got some time to kill. Oh, Sarah, looking right there. They like that too. They're looking for a travel one. I wonder why she needs a travel, Sarah V. She's based it's like $3. I wonder if she's telling you so that you'll wonder, so that you'll ask in the con comments, so that you'll be involved. But she never tells you why she needs it, right? Not yet anyway. Keep watching. You'll find out who's traveling. I have all the info for you. Favorite. I'll get one for Jensen too. Look at she says she's going to get this one pizza for all of the other kids. So three kids have to share this pizza and Jensen gets his own because he's got bubble guts. Yeah, no, that's a... I'm going to get bubble guts if I'm her kid. I like really, That's really cute. And then they have like a little cute... Huh. Looking at baby stuff. I wonder what you're trying to do, Amy. Get views, or are you actually going to have a little baby? Cute. Like Hello. We'll film them too. Hello. We'll film them too. You say that like they're doing something wrong for filming, Amy, when it's you, in fact, that is doing something wrong. Can you film inside of a Walmart store? Out of respect for our associates and customers, unauthorized which means when you didn't ask like what amy's doing is prohibited and we reserve the right to enforce that policy so if they wanted they could tell her to turn off her camera and get out of their store they're not going to because walmart wants publicity just like amy wants publicity but don't record them acting like they're doing something wrong when you indeed are the one doing something wrong amy all right we got some lactose milk two left no, you didn't get some lactose milk. You got lactose free milk. It doesn't have lactose in it. Lactose free. It says it right there on the front. Just have to read it, Amy. Okay, I really like this Walmart, so I'm trying to have the girls look to see like in really store. Oh, the other kids got lucky. This time they got two gallons of regular milk instead of just one gallon of regular milk. Whew, lucky kids. House where it's at. I'm seeing if they got all my lactose free stuff, which I think they do. Well, what do you guys want to have? Okay, getting? Maddie picked out these. Those are really good. These ones are girls. And okay, we got this one. This is good. I think Steven picked out these right here. Jensen got some dairy-free. She pay. She is paying more for the ice cream than anything else in this cart. That is wild. Because we can never find it, and then we got two of the Daya right here because it's always hard. So this is a great Walmart. Loving this. One. So she got two pizzas for Jensen and only one pizza for the other kids. There's one of Jensen and there's three of the other kids. Walmart. Like now we're done, and we'll load these in the car. I've got a cooler bag with some ice, and then um, we will maybe have a snack in the car. We'll see. We'll see if we have one in the car, and then we're gonna go drop Autumn off for her fun time tonight, and then go home and load our stuff. I'll edit for a little bit and then I'll have to run back out picker. It's been a good Wednesday. Good Wednesday without having to really work. <laughs> Autumn sure goes to church a lot and none of the other kids go. I wonder why. <laughs> so it was a good day to get out and do something. We were going to go out for tomorrow for a little bit as well. So it's just a good day. Going out tomorrow because he's going to be banging and cutting and sawing tomorrow too, most likely. Good day besides sitting at home. Always a good thing to get out a little bit with kids and have fun. So I'm trying to get I think it was a clothes rhyme right here. Get my gas, close the video. So thank you for Get her gas, make sure she shows you so that she can write it off. Watching even on my days off that I don't really do anything at home. It's just not a day. 
every day is her day off because she films in batches. If she can get all of her filming done in three days, Amy then has four days off to lay around and do absolutely nothing. And then she pretends that she's filming every day so that she can call herself a daily vlogger. You are not a daily vlogger. Stop being a liar and admit to your followers that you can't handle a daily vlog and go to filming on days you can film, Amy. Cut your, vlog cut your days down. Do three days of filming so you can have actually good videos. Why don't you try to build your channel instead of break it? Why don't you try to build followers instead of starting a new channel? You need to focus on this channel and these followers because they have been here for years with you. You owe them more than that, Amy. Do better. Stop taking so many days off in a row. Stop filming five videos in one day. I like just taking kids out and having a good, different kind of day out. There's some making fun face at my car. Goofies. Okay, so have a fantastic rest of day. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye. Hey guys, so we're having a great day today. Today is Thursday. So this is the next day, Thursday, September 21st, after they went shopping, supposedly, guys. Thursday. Happy Thursday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great after yesterday's take a day off day. That was a good day. So my goal right now is to get some food done for the day. Yesterday I wanted to make some cabbage soup. Um, we've been making, making this forever. Everybody loves it. And so I have it and I thought, why don't I make that up? We can have it for lunch or um, there's leftovers still in there. And then why don't I just do a pot of chili for dinner because we have a lot of rice. Cabbage soup and chili for the weekend again. She makes chili every single week. Wow. I made a lot of that rice for the burrito night or taco night. Everybody loved it, but there's a lot of rice left over. So we'll do. She says for taco night, like it wasn't last night, right? She said, you know, for that taco night, supposedly that was the night before last, not last night, but the night before. It was Tuesday. Wednesday was shopping. This is Thursday, supposedly. It's hard to keep up with, isn't it, Amy, when you make, when you make up your days? small batch of chili and just um we can put on top of rice that'll be really good almost like a haystack a, a glorified haystack that would be really good and then um my focus today is get the food done so that's out of my way i don't have to think about it all and then the rest of my day is going to be we have to take um, one of my kids is flying to go visit family so that will be really good um i can say it now because they'll be back already so that's why i like to film so you can tell about her life and her her personal choices to go do what she's going to do because she'll be back because you don't care about her security? What about her privacy, Amy? What about your daughter's privacy that doesn't want people to know where she's at and what she's doing? She doesn't deserve that. Your children don't deserve privacy. Jensen doesn't deserve privacy about his lactose intolerance. Why don't you care about your children, Amy? Where's your motherly spirit towards your children? It's so weird and off-putting. Your daughter has the right to keep her trips private if she would like to. You do not have the right to tell people just because she'll already be back. I'm going to post a week later because when I started vlogging, I would try to get a video in and then try to get it uploaded. It was impossible. So the internet speed I had there when I was getting it done real quick is what I have in my house now. So that's beautiful. But it's not beautiful because now your kids have unfettered access to that internet and you don't watch them. It's not beautiful at all. They need to go back to North Carolina where they didn't have internet access because it's very scary when you don't watch your children and you don't do things with them, they're going to go to the internet for attention. Trust me. And it scares the crap out of me. That little bit of privacy, because just something protection of your family. Like I said, it's not for protection. If it was for protection, you wouldn't have told anybody that anybody was flying anywhere. If it was for protection, you wouldn't show people the outside of your house. If it was for protection, you wouldn't show people your vehicle. If it was for protection, you wouldn't drive around the town so everybody knows the local stores you shop at. If it was for protection, Amy, you would do a million things differently. It's not for protection. It's because you want what you want and you also want to exploit your children. None of it is for protection. It's to make money for Amy Marion. Be honest, and your channel will do better. I promise you. But small fraction are not. So to do that for my kiddos, they are. It's not a small fraction that don't do good, Amy. It's a small fraction of crazy people out there that will literally stalk your children and find them and follow them and possibly hurt them. Take this seriously. Take your children's safety and their want or diswant to not be on the internet seriously. If you were 
taking advantage of a, ch- a child in a sexual way, everybody would make you stop. It would be S.A. But because you are recording them, it's not. No, you're being just as bad as somebody who is taking advantage of a child in another way. You don't get to record them if they don't want to record. You don't get to talk about their life unless they want you to talk about their life. It's not okay just because they're back already. You don't get to share other people's lives. You get to share your life. You don't own your children, Amy. For them, and so they are going to be gone. So we're going to take them, and then we're going to come back. We're going to do school today because we didn't do yesterday, and that's the beauty of homeschooling. We do four days of school a week, and we take off one day that way. So you're going to make the kids drive to the airport with you to drop off a child, and then come home, and then school with listen to you read books. Get out of here, Amy. You're not schooling. And the day out, we don't have to worry about coming home and hurrying up and getting schooled up. It's like. It's okay, we can miss a day. And so usually I leave it for Friday because that's the day I cook and that takes longer. But this week I'll just know on Friday I'll have to cook and do some school. And that's quite all right as well. So the beauty of it. And then I'd also like to get my boys all their clothes um, put away. Though they, boy, my boys are not like my girls. Like my girls get all their clothes, they call the tags off. They- Stop gendering your children. It has nothing to do with their gender, why they don't want to put their clothes away. Your boys don't put their clothes away because you don't make them. Because if they wait, mom will go in there and do it. Your girls, they do it because they want their clothes to be hung up and nice. It has nothing to do with their genders because I would let you put my clothes away too. Love it. They love to get rid of their old ones and, you know, just put all the new things. Stephen did some, but my Jensen, he could care less. He's like, okay. Just- but my Jensen, don't forget he's lactose intolerant and he doesn't like to put up his clothes and he doesn't like to wear anything but shorts. Stop talking about Jensen like that. You make Jensen seem like not a nice kid to be around. Throw them in there, Mom. I'm good. Just put them in there. <laughs> so <laughs> I'd like to go up and go through. I have some extra clothes, like winter, fall clothes that I saved. Um, yeah, you'll need those winter, fall clothes in, in, from uh, South Carolina or North Carolina over here, won't you? So I'd like to see what I have. That's a good thing. I'd like to see what I have so I can... Why do you always have food on your mouth, Amy? You perpetually have food all over your mug. Can't you wipe your face off before you start filming? Put it all out for them, have their stuff. So I'm going to focus on... Do you spit when you talk, when you talk, or was that from eating? That today as well. So those are my big giant... It's right there. Right there. Goals for... The- I see it. Today. It'll take... I know everybody else sees it. Sometimes it's huge. Sometimes it's little. But she always has something on her face. Make up most of the day, and it's going to be good. But for now, we're going to make some food. I want to get that done. So I wanted to make some cabbage vegetable soup. I haven't made this in a long time. I used to use this when I wanted to lose weight um, back in the day when I lost a lot of weight from what I had after Madeline and Stephen. I lost a lot of weight. And yeah, the South Beach diet food soup that is not filling whatsoever. I bet your kids will just love to have that for dinner. This was something I ate a lot. So, um, but I, my kids just like eating it as well. It's a good, delicious soup. And so I thought I bought some cabbage because it's cheap. And we make it with this. We make it with mixed vegetables. But they never make it with protein. If you have some potatoes on hand, put some in there. Anything you want to add to it. It's so simple. I have lots of onions. And so I pull one out to cut up. And then I'm going to do diced tomatoes in mine. Tomato bouillon. And I think that's it. Sometimes you can add lentils to it. That makes it, just adds a little bit more bulk to it. But this is what I'm going to do for ours. It'll be easy. And then for dinner... Make sure you put the bouillon in it so it gets super, super sodium rific. We have a lot of rice left from our tacos this week. The tacos were cool. That's my favorite. <laughs> my that's, tacos this week. That's her favorite when things fall. That's why she stacks it all the way up. So one day when it falls and blasts Maxine in the back or it blasts the floor and breaks it or it breaks her foot, she'll know why. Because she doesn't care. She doesn't care about safety. She doesn't care about anything. These are so good. And so, um, I don't know, sometimes you have them and you're like, delicious. They're all made exactly the same, but sometimes... They're tacos, Amy. It's tacos. Delicious tacos. Tacos is tacos. You, it's really hard to mess up tacos. These are extra yummier than other days, so we have a lot of rice left over, though. So I thought, why don't I do a small batch of chili, which I can do a small batch, and because I have taco meat, I'll use that with a bunch of beans. Easy. And then I'll make a small batch of chili. We can put it over the... So she's going to use leftover taco meat for her chili. How You only had a pound of taco meat, if that. How much taco meat could you possibly have left, Amy? These kids never eat enough protein. Ever, ever, ever. I have like a good glorified haystack for dinner. That'll be easy enough for a good third. 
You already said a th- glorified haystack. You just keep re-say, repeating things to make okay, it. So you guys more. ready? I'm gonna start chopping these up. I'm gonna put them. You get a pot out. You just put the water in it. Add the bouillon. You let it simmer for a while. It's easy. No big deal. It's an easy lunch. I also have a lot of sandwiches. The kids can make sandwiches to go in if they want. Easy. So you guys ready for a good day? All right, I'm ready for a good day. Let's start chopping up some veggies. Those kids live off of sandwiches. Greg and the kids live off of sandwiches and and junk food. That's what they eat. Their calorie intake is sandwiches and junk food. Delicious cabbage vegetable soup. So what I'm going to do is add some salt and pepper to this. Why this is sauteing? I'm on hold, so I might as well. Make sure. Make sure you do as many things as you can while you're filming because you want to make sure your videos get the most amount of views. And when you act like this, this is how you get the most amount of views, right, Amy? Not when you cook freezer meals. Not when you do shopping hauls. You get the most amount of views when you make disgusting food and talk on the phone at the exact same time and don't give your audience the attention. At once. And just like this cook, I'm going to add some garlic to it because I have a lot. And she'll add a lot. And that's why people don't want to eat her cooking. Who wants to eat something that tastes like garlic? Some will turn green. A little bit greener in the cabbage. Put salt and pepper in here. And then I'll add the rest of the stuff with water and tomato bouillon. And diced tomatoes. Diced tomatoes and the mixed vegetables. Yum. Make sure you put a lot of that bouillon in there. So this is perfect right here. No protein. Nothing that a child actually needs. That's fine if you want to use this for dieting. But this is not for children, whether they like it or not. This is maybe for a, a lunch treat if you're going to give them enough protein for breakfast and dinner but you never do this is not a dinner for your children it's delicious soup for the fall i say and good delicious tasting filling soup if you need some extra filler in your life okay. it's filling how amy you mean filler that doesn't cost a lot of money you mean cheap food be be honest with your words amy this is not filler it doesn't fill you up it's something cheap that you can make that doesn't cost you a lot of money it does not fill you up. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is make up a pot of chili. I'm going to go small size. I was going to grab my purple. She says she's going to go small size and grab her biggest Dutch oven. Pot. <laughs> but then I'm like, is that way too small? So I'm like, sorry for cut off the head. So I'm just, I just got this one. I forgot I had this one. This, I like this. Yeah, don't cut off the top of your head, Amy. We, we don't want that to happen. But definitely don't show us what's happening down on the stove. This isn't a cooking channel. Pot right here. So we have a leftover taco meat right here. She has four tablespoons. Maybe that's a half a cup of taco meat. That is not enough protein, Amy. You are wasting all of these ingredients. This is not a, a meal. This is a snack. If you don't give your children enough protein, it is not a meal because it's not going to fill them up. You're wasting all these ingredients, putting it in with four chunks of meat. I'm just going to throw everything in here, what we're going to add. So my goal is to keep it small. Because we she said keep it small, but not the sodium. This chili is sodium overload. Not only does the meat already have the, the taco seasoning in it, the great value chili beans have 1,600 milligrams of sodium. The corn, 700 milligrams. The diced tomatoes, 630 milligrams. Six ounces of taco meat, 1,460 milligrams. 30 grams of ranch powder, 30 grams of milligram in the ranch powder. 1,800 milligrams of sodium just for the different taco seasoning she uses, guys. When she finishes this up, one small serving of this is going to have over 700 milligrams of sodium in it. Can you imagine that? If she eats two small servings of this, that's enough sodium for her entire daily intake. So don't go back for seconds, kids. You will overdose on sodium. Don't want a lot of leftovers. So I'm going to put diced tomatoes in here. And then where's the flavor coming from? Just the cans? Does she expect everything to be flavored from these cans? I like these chili mixed beans. I'll probably hopefully try to remember these. She likes them because they have the most flavor in them. And she doesn't know how to add flavoring. So please let the cans have a little bit of flavor. Ever since I haven't placed my order, or it'll pick up beans. Make myself and not put on the grocery list chili mixed beans. I forget about it, but then I'm editing. Yeah, make sure you put chili beans on the list so that you can make chili twice a week this next week instead of once a week. And I'm like, oh, I'm at my computer because it's got kidney pinto and black beans in a chili sauce. I think they taste better than the actual ch- like chili beans. I feel like the chili beans are watery from Walmart. So that's 
Maybe you don't buy all your ingredients from Walmart. Just a thought. I mean, you do have a $650,000 house. You could kind of afford a little better quality now, Amy. You don't have to have the watery beans. Corn, just add the liquid. So see this one, it's like a, well these were a little bit thicker. Sometimes they seem more watery. That's weird. Can I of course she wasn't right. Is Amy ever right about any consistency of anything? That one looked really good. You didn't even see that. We can't see anything, Amy. You never show us your pan anymore. You show us your head and your blotchy face and your ever darkening arms, but you never show us your food that you're cooking. I think that there's a reason and it's because it all looks like slop. Those chili beans didn't look too bad there. Anybody can slop cans into a bowl. We don't need to see this. You could have just left this out of the whole video. And the other two let's drain. Add a little bit. This is um, ranch powder in the middle. Oh, more seasonings. Yay. Add in all the sodium you can get. A little bit of taco seasoning. Oops, that's good. Because the meat was already seasoned with the taco meat. So we'll mix this up and we'll just taste it after it's set for a little bit. Let it simmer real. How do you not taste as you go when you, when you season things, Amy? You just wait until the very end so that maybe it's good, maybe it's not. It's like a surprise, huh? Same thing with this. Okay, let that simmer. Easy. Done. So good. So now my food is done. I don't have to worry. I mean, all I have to do is pull the rice out, heat it up, and then get out. I think we'll do Fritos, I think I have for the... Yum. This, these are some good dinners. Some chili with no meat. Some soup with no meat. Those kids are going to be full this weekend. Top, and then some lettuce and maybe I think there's an onion in there, probably chop up. This has to be the greatest grab your fragments lately, right guys? I mean, look, she made two soups, it's hot. It's, it, it's great, it's good, it's delicious. Maybe tomato, and I think that's it, sour cream. Easy, easy thing, I'm looking at my list of my food order here. No, all right, it's all stuff to do another day. So what I'm gonna focus- Everything's something to do another day, Amy. You don't do anything. Because I know I left that out because I wanna fill. This does not work. It's always open. It's a, dr a dish dryer. Just call it a dish dryer, Amy. You should just leave it closed. It's probably got mold growing in it. If you don't use it, mold will grow in it, Amy. That with tomato bouillon is my kids waking up right now. They get up about this time and then um, some are in their rooms awake. And then we will focus on getting our little chores done, which is not much. I'll turn the vacuums on. We'll put the dish. We'll fill up mom's coffee pods and wash mom's car out and walk the dog. No, that dog never gets a walk. I'm sorry, throw the ball for the dog. So I will just straighten the bathrooms, get me laundry down here, and feed Maxine, water Maxine, and then... Oh, you can't even water or feed Maxine? They have to do that too? Um, then we'll do our school. Probably get our school done because we don't have to leave for a little bit for the airport. And then uh, drop off a child. Which child, you ask? Stay tuned for the big reveal because we do know who went and where they went and where they did. We got it all, Amy. You say it's for their protection, but you do not protect your children. A good day. A good day. We'll come back and finish up life. So I'll see you in a little bit. So here she is. Do, why do you have these shoes up here? These shoes, they wore them out to the store. On your day out, they had these shoes on. Why are they on the couch? That's gross and disgusting and dirty. And then there's no sound. We just get a look at Amy, do things, walk around her house. Okay, so we got our school all finished and everything done there. That was really good. We did a little bit of like a day and a little bit of extra. So tomorrow will just be a little bit shorter too. And then Yeah, you did a day and extra. I'm sure you did. And um, getting chores done now because we're going to have to head out the door so we can run to the airport. And then I folded up clothes real quick. So I just, I just told Jensen, bring all your stuff down. We went through real quick. Got rid of the stuff that was worn and old, put it in reg pile, and then refill his so he can take that and put that away. And then I think Stephen here did his, so his is done. So that's good. So I got some super cash. I'll put that in my room, my bulletin board if I decide to go shopping again ever. So that's good. So we'll have that. And then there's a couple of shirts that I got for him that he didn't wear. He thought it was too bright. <laughs> he likes darker colors. That's okay. And so I'll keep those because they're really nice shirts and good. So I'll fold them and put them up in the closet for Stephen in another year or two for him. So this is good. Good day. Maddie's like, we should decorate for fall today. I'm like, I know I have like literally one shelf, two shelves right here. And that's it. We got the upstairs. So I think what a great day. She cooked two items and it's not even Friday. I was thinking it was Friday when she started cooking, man, she's just, she's just on a roll, huh? She's cooking, cleaning, taking care of the kids. And now she's talking about decorating. It's almost like she's back to the old Amy, only it's not because the old Amy would have had her old house already completely decorated. 
I will. And it's not because the old Amy would have never let a pile of clothes sit down here for a week. I'll look in my little fall bin, which is very tiny, very, very tiny, and see what we got for some decoration. Why is it tiny, Amy, when you drove two huge, gigantic, 26-foot long U-Hauls down from North Carolina? Why is it tiny? Where are all your fall decorations? I know. It's one of those things like, I got rid of so much stuff because we're moving. What? Because fall looks different? in Florida than it does in North Carolina. You know, it's still fall, right? There's still pumpkins. There's still leaves. You could decorate with that stuff still. And I knew it would be all new and I'm like, okay, we could have used some, but I'm like, that's okay. We'll just do a little bit different here. So let me, I got my clock out so I can hang that outside and put a battery in that and get that. I gotta get my battery upstairs and then make sure you take that clock down during the next hurricane or else it will break too. And then the next time you'll end up with a, do a dollar store clock. And, uh, Good day, great, great Thursday again. Okay, we just got home from dropping them off and got back and we just grabbed lunch. So grabbed some soup, some grabbed sandwiches. There was some refried beans, some made a burrito. Whatever you can do. I just put my battery in here. I'm gonna hang this outside my door. Hopefully that'll be good. It's a smaller one and I didn't realize the... And why would you get smaller? It's outside, you don't wanna see it better, bigger, so you can see it easier. Why would you get smaller? Because you're cheap. Hook on the wall is like a big hook and I, I thought it must have hooked into where it held on this one's just kind of sitting on the lip we're gonna be hopeful so it's gonna fall and it's gonna break she set it on the lip she didn't even hang it properly why'd you put it out there why didn't you just wait amy look at your face you know you messed up it's gonna fall it's gonna break but do you care nope it's good it's great it's delicious I'm like what are you gonna do on my lip what are you gonna do you're gonna hang it up correctly like you should have did in the first place today was get the boys clothing all that stuff put away we did there's a few pairs of shoes from them to take up um got all that put away they have a pile outside the door what we did was just sweep the trash tea outside the door so they're ha having lunch they're having it in the room i'm okay with that and those kids always eat in their room and then you wonder why you have bugs you have bugs because they have food all over the house they throw ice cream sticks underneath your couch you already told us that chips underneath your couch you have bugs because you and your children are slobs the trash up the girls gonna sweep their floor and then we're gonna take a break and we're in the pool for a while it seems like let me back in i just see such a big old belly coming amy and i i don't want to think you're pregnant but man it looks it to me Come on. i can't decide i hope you're not i do hope you're not pregnant but man you you're putting on the pounds amy makes me wonder and then we're gonna go swim in the pool and then we're gonna have dinner tonight. It's a very simple day. So I think the other thing I was looking at is decorating for fall, which <laughs> I had I had two huge bins of fall decorations at my old house. I did. See, I, this is this is it. This is my extent right now. We got some pumpkins. I looked at these and I'm like, I feel like I have She had more. This is just the colors that she wants to do. And she just doesn't want to be honest. She just wants to get more. And didn't Maddie ask you if she could decorate? Why are you decorating? Didn't Maddie just say, can we decorate? I think we saved the stuff from downstairs because we were using the name. She only has seven items here. Why wouldn't she just let Maddie put them up? Why does she have to do everything? Navy down there. Okay, I'm a hedgehog. I made Navy down there, and that was... You know what? This is worse than nothing, Amy. It's literally worse than nothing. Why don't you just be honest and say, hey, I don't like this house, so I'm not going to decorate it for Halloween. I'm not going to decorate it for Thanksgiving. And I probably won't decorate it for Christmas because I don't even have a place for my tree. Um, the only colors, but upstairs, everything was red and orange and browns. So we knew it would be different here. So this That's the color of fall, Amy. It's okay to decorate a house by the beach like fall too. This is what I got going on. So I have like two places to decorate. I have that ledge over my <laughs> sink. And I have those right there. That's it. That's all I got here. These, I don't even know if I want these up here. After You don't know if you want them up there, but they're still up there because you're too lazy to take them back down. Staring at them for a long time. I just don't, like, now that we have our TV, the double shelves, I just don't think I like those up there. So I think I'll just do the TV. Let's just go over here and do the TV. So this is what we got. You couldn't allow Maddie to do it. Going on here. That's about it. I've got, oops, let me put you over here. I have the hourglass down here because I didn't want to get broken upstairs. So yeah, we have nothing here. I've got a, my girlfriend gave me this. Um, I think after when my mom passed away and it was island linen and I like had to laugh because she, obviously she didn't know at the time we were moving to Florida. And so I'm like, it's a nice Floridian candle. So I'm going to see. You didn't even know at the time when your mom died that you were moving to Florida. Let me just bring my pumpkins over here. We'll set some over here. So again, things are three, right? There you go. There's three. My little hedgehog. And then like, do you keep the seagrass? Because, you know, it's Florida all the time and there's never a season of not seagrass. That's good, right? I mean, there's something. There's something on my mantle versus nothing. No, it's better with nothing because you're not doing anything. You could have just let Maddie do this. She wanted to do this. 
This is not decorating of a house. There you go. Hey, and here, we got something. Look at that. We got some glass with the plants that I just don't really like those, but it works for now. I should take these down. I'm going to set these outside on this table. Don't set those outside. They will explode in the heat. You live in Florida. Table under. Probably a whole lot better, isn't it? I like that a whole lot better. A whole lot better than the fluffy green. Okay, yeah. is that better than nothing? Okay, that's good. Like I said, this, I don't. We had this up before. We had the living room. And the reason why is because when I think when I see the living room, it's got the... So these two look better than these two. This is too close to the TV, Amy. This top shelf is too close. It doesn't look good. These two over here, they don't look good either, but they look better than these two over here. Trust me. And nothing looks good about this fake vinyl brick and this fake ship lap. Nothing looks good about that. Tear those down and paint it. Paint it white. And I feel like this just does not match at all. But I don't know. Maybe I'll think of a separate thing. But hey, I got some fall decorations up. That's a good thing. <laughs> so what else can I do here before the kids? We go swimming. I'm going to take my soup we ate, put it in some containers, and put it in the refrigerator. In my closet, I found a candle. I've got a pumpkin waffle. I'm going to put this. I didn't put anything on my ledge here. And I found this vase, and that fits. So that's going to be it for now. We're not matching, but it's what I got right there. Got another one here, cinnamon spice vanilla. The girls got me, or the kids got me for This is like her, her literal way of life now. Just do the minimum. It's okay. It's good. It's great. It's delicious. Even when it's crap. Mother's Day. And these are almost dying, but we'll let those go for a little bit more. Is that it? That's going to be it for now. Here's my, here's my use-up pile right here. I feel like this is my catch-all right here. It's got my lotion and my stuff here. I'm going to just put this stuff in my car. Or, but it's okay. It's becoming a catch-all. And that's quite all right. Let's get our soup put away. It's okay. It's dirty. It's okay. It's broken. It's okay. It's ugly. It's okay. Everything is not okay, Amy. Something is wrong with you to think that everything's okay. Loved it. We'll be eating this over the next few days for lunches for sure. So I'm just going to put it in some glass dishes. I'll put it in the refrigerator for now. And then if we, um, like, don't eat it in the next, you know, probably four or five days, then I'll freeze some. So she's going to make this soup sit in the refrigerator for four or five days. And then if nobody eats it, rather than throw it away, because it will be bad, she's going to freeze it and then try it again. It freezes really well. You can leave it in there for months and bring it out and just... You can't freeze it if it's already gone bad, Amy. And if you leave it in your refrigerator for five days, leftovers only last in the refrigerator for three to four days tops. So let's just put this in the container. Okay, that was just a few dishes there. The ones, these, these had gone through the dishwasher. She doesn't listen to her own genius advice like, oh, make sure you rinse your dishes. She just leaves them in there dirty and then it takes her forever to clean them. And that's why she's always cleaning everything by hand because they're always dirty and stuck on. And had come out dirty. So they weren't clean. So that's Of course they came out dirty. Every one of your dishes are dirty and your dishwasher doesn't work. Well, I set them in here because the food had just caked down way too much. So I was going to hand wash those. So but she literally has videos where she tells us, don't leave your dishes to cake on, run water in them right away. She never listens to her own advice. It's crazy. She has a whole video on how to lose weight and she's doubled her size in the last year. It's crazy. We're gonna be done here, which is awesome. So I'm thinking, let me go back here. I've got one load of towels. I think I'm gonna take out and fold and then just leave back here. Remember how I was gonna put the, leave the laundry back here? And then let me get the laundry up here and we'll check. So the rest of the evening is going to be fairly easy. Do you see how full she fills her washer and dryer? Amy, you're going to break them. They have limits. I am just going to, um, I'm trying to take these and throw these away. Now these are we're moving on. Throw them away and move on. I'm going to just fold these. These are going to sit here. This can be tomorrow's chores. Like, that gives them something to She has six kids, four of them that are always home. One of them could run down and fold these right now. They could have pulled them out of the dryer and folded them right now and put them away. It would have took them 15 minutes. And then the kids, we're going to go swim for a little bit, get out in the pool, stir it up a little bit, got to do that, and get some energy out of them, and, um, and then have dinner tonight. I think that'll be easy. Watch me, watch me. This is a reasonable size load. Usually she fills them so full that the pile goes all the way up past the, past the cupboards. Movie too. We watched a movie in a long time. We saw that Anne, the second Anna Green Gives. We never watched that yet. 
Maybe we'll see. We'll see what our night does like tonight. I gotta edit for a little bit. That sometimes takes time and ends up like, oh, that's my whole night gone. So it just depends on how things work out. Well, if you didn't make four videos all in one day, you wouldn't have four videos to edit all in one day, Amy. Cut your recording time down. Record like an hour a day. Suits, suits, stuff. So this is perfect. Good day, good day homemaking. Don't you feel like those good days? Like, okay, I got some, and I decorated. I decorated. <laughs> I decorated with my five pumpkins and that was it. <laughs> so. But your kid wanted to decorate and you're laughing about it. Like you should have just let her decorate. It was a joke. And she would have had a very good time doing it. Okay. There's days I decorated and took all day to decorate and had tons of stuff. Now it took me, what, a whole two minutes. Yay. <laughs> Can we get back to those days? Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with simplicity. Okay, so these are just going to stay right. Then why don't you film simplistically? You make these big, long edits, big old long vlogs, but you don't do anything in them. And then you make fun of people like Moss Family TV who has small clips. Like, do some small clips, Amy. At least it would be more engaging than your long, disgusting videos. And I say disgusting because you do disgusting things in them. Like, exploit your children and make food that is not edible. If you are making food that is not edible, that is not homemaking. That is home messing. And you deserve somebody to call you out for it. I think this, I was thinking this was Maxine's towel, I think. Perfect. Yum. She washed Maxine's towel with everybody else's towels. Okay. I'm going to leave this just like this. And then um, I think this will go into the trash. She literally could have a child come and put these away. And it would take the child, what, one minute? The recycling clothing bin because it's all worn and stained. I got black bananas over there. That'll be tomorrow's Gather Your Fragments. We'll be working on those are not fragments. Those are critter collectors. Those are collecting all the critters that you complain about. Those, and then uh, hopefully the sun kind of went out. Hopefully it doesn't go down completely. Hopefully the sun comes back and we get a little bit of sunshine out there. So I think I'm gonna pull some of this footage off here and then maybe I'll start editing while the kids are finishing up their stuff and then I'll put dinner out, show you what that looks like and then call it a day. Sounds good, right? Okay, let's go do that I'll be back in a minute. All right, so it just came in from the she had to prove to us that she goes in the pool. She had to change her clothes and get her hair wet and prove that she goes in the pool. Good job, Amy. You just look like an old gross lady that put your t-shirt on after you went in the pool. Maybe next time you should try taking a shower after the pool. Yeah, it was really good. It's getting, <laughs> the sun is going down. It's getting awful cloudy. It's starting to get cloudy more. It makes it chilly. I know it's still 87 degrees. Or maybe you're just getting acclimated to the weather. I know that's a big word, so go ahead and just look it up. Acclimate. Which is so weird. It's so weird. When it's 87 degrees, but the sun is down, it feels freezing, I think. My personal opinion, Brooke and I were saying that too. I was talking to her and I said, it's weird that sun goes down. It's still 85 degrees outside, but it feels cold. <laughs> so I came in. They're out there swimming still. We were having fun. We were lining up the, um, <laughs> we are taking this boogie boards. We have the first ones we bought from Five Below. They definitely broke apart from using them and then we bought some better ones at Walmart uh, with then clearance so the boogie we lined up all the boogie boards the broken ones that we had already and they're like running from outside the pool and trying to skim across and get it across as many as they can and when they fall and bust their head open what are you going to do Amy when they get a TBI because they bop their head on that on the concrete floor what are you going to do why do you let your kids do dangerous things like climb on top of things and run across things they do it all the time stop make them wear a helmet just fun things. And we're sitting there talking for a while. And I said, okay, I'm getting too cold out here. So let me go in and get dinner. So I've got chili heating up. I got rice in the microwave. I've got everybody's orders. I'm going to make some burrito bowls. Or burrito bowls. Uh, what is it called? Chili bowls. And then we're going to have dinner. Sit outside there and eat. It's about 6.15 right now. Good day. A great day. Do you ever have those? I mean, it's been a good week. It's been a good, good week. I'm feeling much more like in my element, like in my mom element, in my house element, and just getting there. So the You fill in your element. It's Thursday, Amy. It's literally Thursday. On Tuesday, you had walking tacos with not enough protein because you guys didn't even finish it. On Wednesday, you bought your kids McDonald's and then fed them pizzas, frozen pizzas. On Thursday, you are making chili beans with leftover rice. You're not doing good so far. It's not looking good. So waiting for the rice and doing the chili right here. Okay, so I've only got to make a few bowls here. So I've only got... She's only got a couple kids because she sends them all off everywhere. 
one that wants rice. I'm an egg. Because this rice is how old? This is the rice for the walking tacos. It was made with the tomato bouillon, and now she's putting chili on top of it. Okay, awesome, so this is dinner tonight. We are going to eat this. I'm gonna take this outside to the kids right now. We're gonna have food and sit outside. <laughs> oh, Maxine, she don't like the kids all rough housing. <laughs> she's like, keep them in line. So we're gonna eat, and right, so I'm gonna go. So you have a fantastic rest of your day. Come back tomorrow, we got gathered. She is so out of her element and she tries to keep telling us she's in her element but she's not amy it's okay to take some time off that's what you need to do are you fragment fried i got some food they're gonna go outside and eat this chili by the pool like yuck it's 6 30 just sit inside and eat your chili that you eat once a week make for the weekend so i will see you tomorrow bye hey guys so hope you're having a great day today today is gather your fragment friday it's the part of the week that we gather up fragments in our home so nothing goes to waste and i've got a bunch of stuff to use up so it doesn't go to waste like sometimes you go through food so quick in this house and sometimes it doesn't so this is one of those because she doesn't ever make anything the same sometimes she follows one recipe in her head and sometimes she follows another recipe in her head and sometimes she leaves things out sometimes the food is slightly edible and sometimes it's so nasty that the kids refuse to touch it so of course your food goes at different paces amy Sometimes I went two week grocery shopping. This is the end of my two weeks. I still have a lot of food and a lot of extras that are gonna go bad if I don't do something with them. So she has a lot of food and a lot of extras because she cooked burgers one night and said that they were supposed to last all week. She made one pound of taco meat and used it for two meals. Your food is not gonna go if you're not using it, Amy. Don't be ridiculous. Of course your food is not going fast. You don't cook it start right in today's video. Sound good? All right, let's go. The one thing we have a lot of is these cucumbers and they're going to go bad. So I'm like, we gotta do something with these cucumbers. So I'm like, what can we do? Yeah, I can chop it up, we can eat it, and that's fine. But the kids do love pickles. Stop buying cucumbers, Amy. You buy ridiculous amounts of pickles. You eat way too many pickles. They have way too much sodium for your family. And then when you don't eat your cucumbers, you end up making them into pickles. So you have even more pickles. Homemade pickles, store-bought pickles. You guys are the pickle crew. Stop eating so many pickles. It's not necessary, and it's not healthy for you. Pickles, I had to, was trying to look back. One time I made them the first time we were here, and they were very sour, way too. She makes them different every single time because she doesn't follow a recipe. She doesn't use measuring spoons or cups. She is going to make them different every single time. That's how it goes, Amy. Way too much. Couldn't do that. So the next time I did them, I liked it a whole lot better. Did I save the recipe? No. I'm trying to look at my Google, like my history. You could just go back and watch your videos, Amy. Couldn't even find it. Couldn't even find the video. Where I found it. I put it. So I'm hopeful it wasn't super sour. I think it was like equal. Like if it was four cups of water, it was two cups. of. There's this thing called the internet and you could Google good pickle recipes that are not too so sour and follow them, Amy vinegar, that kind of thing. So that's what I'm going to go with today. So I'll put the recipe on the screen here. She's going to go with whatever she has and whatever she wants, and she doesn't care if it tastes good. Hopefully put it in my title so I remember for the next time. So I'm going to get my water boiling. I'm just going to use water, vinegar. You're supposed to use pickling salt because it dissolves better. All I have is um, the pink Himalayan salt, which is okay. It will just be more pink. <laughs> Don't do it if you're getting... The pickles, salt, the seasoning, pickling will work, Amy. It just makes it less cloudy if you use regular, if you use the pickling salt. The salt you have will work just fine. Just mix it up more. It will dissolve, Amy. Salt dissolves. Give it to somebody, but it tastes exactly the same if it's for you. So in my pot, I'm going to put the water and the vinegar, and then we'll boil it. And then you add uh, sugar and salt. But don't measure it. You don't want to know what it's going to taste like next time. You don't want to make sure they're consistent. Do not measure anything. Just add stuff in. Okay, that's going to simmer over there and then we'll let it cool. I have a ton of bananas here. We bought a bunch. With you buy way too many bananas and you buy way too many cucumbers. Your kids do not want cucumbers anymore with hummus and they also do not want bananas with smoothies. So stop buying smoothie items and stop buying cucumbers. You're just wasting money. For freezing them. That's what we're going to do with these. So I'm just going to take these, put them in containers, put them in the freezer. I'm going to leave some out today because we have a lot of almond milk that needs to get 
um, gone, and so I'm thinking. It needs to get gone. Stop buying almond milk also. Let's do a smoothie for breakfast and the rest will put in containers. Go into the freezer out in the garage. So what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna start all my dinners. I've got dinner for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's what we're gonna do. So it's gonna be a beef kind of weekend. I'm gonna do, for tonight, I'm gonna do Philly cheesesteaks. Um, okay, I'm gonna do a mixture because we have a lot of hamburgers. Don't call them Philly cheesesteaks. Come on, Amy. You're being extremely rude right now by calling them Philly cheesesteaks, what she's about to make. You guys will never guess this recipe. It's leftover. We did not eat those hamburgers up this week. I don't know why. So I'm thinking like to chop the meat up into like little strips and then using that as my meat. I've got green peppers and onions and we're going to make like Philly cheesesteak. Those hamburgers were made six days ago. Yes, I went back and checked. Those hamburgers were made six days days ago. Sloppy Joe's basically was a recipe, but I think I can make it more like a cheesesteak because I have the meat slices. We're going to do that. They're not meat slices. They're called hamburger patties, and they've already been cooked six days ago. For tonight. Tomorrow is going to be beef fried rice, and then Sunday I'm going to do beef stroganoff. Easy. Everybody likes it. So I'm going to get all my pots out here, and we're just going to start cooking everything. Does that sound good? Okay, so first let's get this one, and I'll get my rice in here. Let me start making rice for beef fried rice. The question is always how much rice to make. It's not always how much rice. You know how many people you are cooking for. Look it up and cook that much rice and measure it, Amy. Okay, so I'm going to do four cups of rice, I think. This is already boiled. I'm turning, I turn this down. And then let me get a small pot here. I'm going for our um, ground beef just to cook it so I can have beef stir. Big one. I'm going to make my fried. So pretty much her gather your fragments are the same as her planned recipes she's going to use old hamburgers and she's going to use the london broil it's the same the planned recipes are the same as the gather your fragment recipes just nasty food she has laying around the house rice and so i'm going to put in some beef tips just cut up i think it was they're not beef tips it was london broil and you cut them up and they're going to turn into little hard rocks London broil we got. It's frozen. I'm going to put it in here. It's frozen like a caveman froze it in a lump. And with this. I'm going to work over here. So she wonders why the pans are all jacked up when she puts frozen hard lumps in it. Of course they get scratched, Amy. You push the top on and you have a lump of meat in the bottom that's as hard as a rock. I'm gonna just chop up, dice up a green pepper and an onion, and then I get out my burger pieces and cut those up as well and just put them right on the cutting board and then I'm gonna use another pan. I like these pans, so all right, let's chop these up. So Autumn came down and she started making um, mini pancakes and I'm like, that's a really cool idea. I might make some more for the kids. So I'm gonna take right- This lady said, Autumn came down and made mini pancakes and now she got the idea that she's going to make pancakes. She got inspired by her daughter from pancakes. Amy, are you, you really can't think of pancakes on your own? Are you joking? In this pan right here. She just made pancakes in here. And then the saute the onions. Don't rinse it out. Okay. Look at this, guys. This is the old hamburgers. Six days old. It's a taco season, which is different, but a little spicy. Ketchup. The only thing they would do is Worcestershire sauce. I think I had some and got rid of it. Some of She's acting like this is an actual recipe. Who would put steak sauce on old burgers with ketchup and, and taco seasoning and call that a sloppy Joe Philly cheesesteak? Sauce. That's going to be all right. And then this mixture is beef broth with um, cornstarch. Beef broth and cornstarch. Yeah. Scared her. It was so disgusting. Okay, I want to make sure that tasted good. This does taste really good. Very simple. Um, you can use ground beef for it. That's normally what the recipe is used for, but I use the burger pieces and it'll be delicious. So we'll see. She used the burger pieces and it will be delicious. Burger pieces meaning old cooked burgers. Oxidized burgers. 
The oxidized fat on leftover burgers always gives a bad flavor. These aren't just any normal burgers. These burgers are super oxidized old burgers. The, this is from Monday, September 16th. Six day old burgers. This is when she cooked those burgers. Monday. Smoker. And that'll be a good thing to have. So I looked in the freezer in here and I have those good ones, the bacon cheddar ones. But the kids don't all love us, they like plain ones too. So I'm gonna make enough so we have stuff for lunches for the week. And so she made burgers to eat for lunches for the week and they didn't get eaten. So she's making them on Friday as her dinner for Friday. And then um, I'll just put them in the After smoker this, and I got a thing of fries put in the oven. Easy. This is after they set in the refrigerator for six days, guys. At dinner. That's what you do when days get crazy. So I'll go outside here, turn my smoke around. So here she is making them in her smoker six days ago. There she is using a screwdriver that Greg uses outside for working to pry them apart. And she wonders why her kids didn't eat them. Perhaps they taste like glue. Perhaps they taste like paint. Perhaps they taste like chemicals from the pool. Who knows? The grout? Who knows what's on that screwdriver? Amy doesn't know. She didn't wipe it on her dress first. She didn't do anything. She doesn't care because it's for her kids. She came back in and laughed about it. And now, because they wouldn't eat those burgers, she's feeding them as Philly cheesesteak. Could you imagine? How long does ground beef last in the fridge, Amy? It is safe to store ground beef in the refrigerator for one to two days and eat your leftovers within four days. This time frame can be extended to three to four days if the meat is cooked and stored properly. It is crucial, Amy, look up crucial, to ensure that the beef is stored in an airtight container and kept at a consistent temperature of 40 degrees or lower for three to four days. Amy has had it in the refrigerator for six days now. Can you imagine eating six day old burgers as a leftover? Because it clearly tells you that ground cooked ground beef, which is a hamburger, Amy, a hamburger patty is cooked ground beef, should be refrigerated no more than three to four days. Yes, Amy. Refrigerate and cooked ground beef within two hours of cooking or when it has cooled to room temperature. Cooked ground beef should be stored in an airtight container or wrapped in aluminum foil or plastic wrap for no more than three to four days, not six days, and used as leftovers or refrozen. Just on hamburger buns with provolone cheese because we have that and I'll cook some fries. It doesn't even look good. It looks like six day old burgers. Fries as well for it later. So perfect. And this one meal is done. Okay, the next dish I'm going to do is some beef fried rice. So I'm just going to take and Amy, that was not called a Philly cheesesteak. It was more like a choppy joe or a sloppy choppy. It was gross. And you should never want to make that for your children again. Why would anybody want to make their children six day old leftovers? scramble some eggs in here. These eggs are looking really sad. They were the ones that stuck to the cardboard. That egg was already open and she just keeps using these opened eggs. They're bad, Amy. Throw them away. They stuck. They opened. Throw them away. This is so simple to make. You can do it a whole bunch of different ways. I like to do my eggs separately. Sometimes people like to make the little well and do it in the middle. I don't because it just mixes all with the ingredients I find. So I just like to cook these like this and then I put everything else in here. Most are all of her pans stick. No matter what she does, they all stick. Putting my sesame oil. Sesame oil and soy sauce is not enough flavor to flavor fried rice. You need sweet soy sauce, dark soy sauce, garlic, fish sauce, oyster sauce, and some type of maggi or other Asian brown seasoning sauce. You have no real Asian pantry items, Amy. Not to mention veggies. What about the sprouts, etc., that go into the fried rice? This is not fried rice. Please stop bastardizing people's culture and cooking, Amy. And soy sauce. I bet that's a really good fried rice with just those two items. No, it's not. Don't listen to Amy's cooking. You will waste your items and waste your food. So 
this is a great thing that we take on the road with us. I'll put it in glass dishes and then um, we'll have it for on the road for like a, a warm lunch, which will be really nice. So. Yum. Now they have to take it as a warm lunch on the go. Yuck, Amy. Can't they take a sandwich on the go? Sandwiches are for the go and rice is for the house. So we're going to take this tomorrow with us. So I'm going to put these in glass dishes for everybody and then uh, this will be good. I still have a lot of rice left. A lot should have been way less, but that's okay. You never cook the right amount of anything. And while her kids are eating disgusting leftover six-day-old hamburgers, who's this? Who is this lady that would have the nerve to be on here with her 220 followers? What's this? She's a daughter of the king. Amy's a daughter of the king. Huh. Who could she be? What is she doing? Well, it looks like she's going to Jeter Mountain Farms. Where's Jeter Mountain Farms, you ask? Well, it's in North Carolina, my friends. And this was posted on September 22nd. Huh. Who could it be? Well, there she is. She seems to be just like Amy, posting her mug and her husband's mug and all her kids' mug for the world to see. Well, when I looked upon these faces, I noticed a familiar face right down here at the end. Who could it be? Our very own Brooklyn. That's right. Brooklyn flew off to go visit her boyfriend. And this is her boyfriend's mother. And, of course, even though Brooklyn doesn't like to be on her mother's channel, this lady thought, well, I'll put her on my channel. The more faces, the better. My like it. So, very easy to find, Amy, where your children were. Out and about. To take a break and wash some dishes. Why don't you and this other mother stop posting your children on the internet? Stop posting pictures for attention. That lady, she follows Jamarelle and all of the other mom vloggers. She likes it. She wants to be like Amy. She has no problem with Amy exploiting her children, and she has no problem exploiting her own children. You guys need to stop with it. It's way too easy to find these children online. It's way too easy to exploit them and allow somebody to become obsessed and hurt them. You guys are putting your children out there for the world and you're not protecting them. It's ridiculous and you need to stop. Lady, I don't know who you are. I don't know if you look up to Amy, but you need to not exploit your children and you need to stay far away from Amy. Her life will bring your life down. Don't do it. Because I'm out of the stuff I need, so I'll wash these real quick and we'll keep going on. Okay, so I noticed these, these two have already died. This one was going still. So how long have I had these up here? For a week? I just put them up this week. So filming each day. You have to take them down every time and unstick them? Probably don't use them, Amy. You need like a strip that stays up there that is not rechargeable. Come on. Use your brain. Use your little thinker. So hour, two hours a day. I don't know. We'll see. I'll charge them again. Okay, so I washed my dishes, got them going, got a pot of water boiling for my beef stroganoff, so I have the Philly cheesesteak buns. I might just serve that with chips and dip tonight versus fries. Might be something easier. I have watermelon. Probably cut that up. Hope. Of course, do whatever's easier, Amy. It's six-day-old burgers. It doesn't matter what you make with them. They're still going to be disgusting and make your kids sick. It's going to be better than the last one. And then um, we'll have like pickles and got some carrots here we can put out with some dip. I think that'll be plenty for dinner tonight. And then um, they made the smoothie over here. Got that rolling and then I'll just make the beef stroganoff because I got the beef fried rice. But first I'm going to do the pickles. So I've got all my cucumbers here. I'm going to do, usually what I do is I put the cucumbers in and I put the garlic and dill wheat on top. I'm going to put it in the bottom. So use fresh. So that it might have a chance to like dissolve. Good thinking, Amy still weed always better but I remember when I was doing pickles in North Carolina I couldn't find like fresh dill weed it was really hard so I just got dehydrated or freeze-dried that's what it was freeze-dried dill weed so this work you know that your seasonings go bad pretty quick so if this is still from North Carolina it's probably not good anymore looks good it tastes good we like it I'm gonna just cut these up see how many containers I make better use glass jars I just don't have any these don't seal you could get glass jars. You bought all those glass jars for seasoning. Why didn't you buy glass jars for pickle making? You love making pickles. You guys love pickles. You eat pickles all the time. Perfectly. Obviously, they don't. The spring doesn't even stand. Nothing you have works perfectly, Amy, because you don't buy anything properly for the job that you need it for. Ever. 
scent, but it's what I have for containers, so this is good. Mine look pink because I have Himalayan salt, so it's pink. If you don't want that, just use regular, but you don't want it. doesn't dissolve completely. They always say just use pickling salt. It does dissolve completely. All salt will dissolve in water, Amy. It might leave a cloudy substance, but it will dissolve. Trust me. All your salt is going to work. Salt dissolves. You just have to give it enough time and stir it enough. You can use this for refrigerated pickles. If What you have to do is when you go to put it in the containers, kind of stir it up a little bit because the salt doesn't completely dissolve. So I'm going to put these in the refrigerator, and these will be delicious. I've got some water boiling over here. But they always have pickles up in the cupboard. She makes pickles, and they have jars and jars of pickles in the cupboard. She's a pickle freak. Pickles are high in, high in sodium, Amy. You don't need it. Find my fresh fruit and veggies. I found, remember I had a package of this. It was out there. Two of them got frozen. These three are good. So I'm going to put these in the refrigerator in here. Make a mental note to make like um, lettuce wraps. Maybe like Monday with these. And this is going to be beef stroganoff. I've got I don't think that that is going to last until Monday, Amy. I do not think it's going to last until Monday. You probably should have froze it completely or not got it. You didn't even need it. You guys don't eat wraps. You don't eat lettuce. Like, what did you buy it for? Mushroom soup here. Frozen. So we're going to put that in here. Dirt mushroom soup. Yeah. Here, let this thaw and heat up and we'll add our meat to it. A little bit of beef broth and water and lactate sour cream. I do lactate sour cream so everybody can have it. And the noodles. Man, they just fall in there. She just drops everything like rocks. Okay, I bought some and trying to salvage a lot of stuff at Clover Sprouts. I haven't been making very many. I like this on just with hummus on the seed. What have you been eating instead, Amy? Pizzas? Six day old burgers? Why aren't you eating your sprouts? Just eat them. You bought them, you purchased them, you went to Detweiler's and got them. Just eat them. Bread. I just have not made it a bunch of times, so this is still good for another week. So I'm going to, but sprouts will last longer if you rinse them with cold water, fresh water every day, and put them in a plastic bag, so that's what I have, and I'll just pour water in there. Okay, I'm going to say this once again. Do not listen to Amy. This is the complete opposite of what you are supposed to do with sprouts. In order to store sprouts, you wash them in cold water and you dry them thoroughly. You use a salad spinner, which Amy has never and will never own. And you store it in an airtight container for up to one week. You definitely do not water them daily or rinse them or put them in anything with water. You dry them thoroughly so that they're not wet, so that they're not getting moldy. Once again, Amy made something up just for content, just to have something to blubber about. Don't listen to Amy. You will end up ruining your food. Put a little bit more, dump it out, and then it'll stay fresh for long. No, you do not put water in, dump it out, put water in, dump it out, and rinse them off, and then leave them wet. They will mold. Every time a sprout gets wet, you need to dry it thoroughly. You're wrong, Amy. <clears throat> okay, in the refrigerator, these will go. I use this. And into the refrigerator, they will mold because all this water will turn to mold. You are not supposed to leave them like that. That's why they were in a container that had air holes so that they would dry out and stay dry, not wet. Freezing because we live in Florida. So I'm going to put these in there. I've got a few. And then she did it with hot water. Now she's going to pour some cold water over it. More veggies to chop up. What I think I'm going to do, I have three green peppers left here. And so I think I'm going to chop these up because they're going to go bad with an onion. And I have a little bit of sour. I'm just going to chop it up and spread it. I should put on a cookie sheet to flash freeze first. Put on a cookie sheet, put it in the freezer, let it freeze salad, and then I'll put it in a bag because it's easier to break. At least this time she didn't say to put it in the oven and flash freeze it. But okay. part that way. Otherwise, if you put it in a bag, it'll kind of clump together. That's what I remember it doing. So I will You never even freeze veggies anymore, Amy. Why are you making this such a big ordeal? Chop it up. Portion it out into small bags, put the small bags into bigger bags. Now it's doubled and freeze them. Boom, you're done. It's simple. You're making a big deal out of it for content. It's stupid. I want some green pepper in a recipe with the onion that's going to waste. Okay, so I decided to put it in a pan like this because what I'm going to do is put it in my freezer. If you put it on a big giant cookie sheet. You could have put it in a bag so it doesn't make the, fr the freezer smell. You're worried about the smell, but it's going to make it smell no matter what you do. Double bag it. Duh. Put it in your big freezer. That'll be fine. But you know what's going to happen? That freezer is going to stink like onions and peppers. It does. Even if you put it in a container, it stinks like onions and peppers. So I'm going to... 
it wouldn't stink like onions and peppers if you put them in a double Ziploc bag. Put them in a small bag to portion them out. Put them in a larger bag to double bag it to hold the smell. Come on, Amy. It's onions and peppers. You're making a big deal out of it because you want to waste your time and seem like you're doing more. Refrigerator freezer out there and only has water and veg. And why are you running a refrigerator freezer in this heat with only water in it? Unplug that thing. You don't need it. You don't even have that big of a family anymore. There's eight of you. You don't need three refrigerators. Unplug one. Get rid of it. I'm hoping to put it in there, let it freeze, and then I can break it apart because it's not like... You know. Yeah, because you want to touch all over it. I know how you like to touch things up. No, too compacted, and I'll put it in a bag, a double bag, and then I'll put some baking soda in that freezer because it's smaller to get rid of the smell. That is what You could have just put it in the bags in the first place. What I'm going to probably do just to uh, help eliminate too much onion in the whole freezer. So let me put this up there. Okay, this is pretty much thawed. I need to put some beef broth in here, or beef bouillon in there. She just puts random amounts of beef bouillon in things. It's crazy. And it's a quick way to ruin an entire pot of food. If you put too much in there, what is she going to do? She already put her soups in there. Is she going to put more soup in there? Is she going to make a bigger pot? That's how you ruin it. The noodles and the stroganoff aren't going to make this good. They're just going to get salty too if this is too salty. She needs to be careful with her amounts, but she doesn't measure anything. I'm going to put my beef in here. She had like a pound of beef. A pound of beef for her whole family. You know, people get in here too with just some of those onions and peppers in my soup. I know there's a lot of those in there, so I know there's a lot of... No, don't add onions and peppers for flavor. Your kids don't like them. It's okay. It's good. It's great. It's delicious. Just put beef bouillon in it. Flavor that way. And the noodles. Big strong enough. And I'm glad to make it because it's a favorite, but I can't do the... Sour cream with cream mushroom when my other kids can't have it, so this works out really good. And then I add a container of the lactate. Got to make sure you talk about how your kids have to have lactate. Just put it in there, Amy. Say, we deal with some issues. You don't have to tell everybody every time who has the issues and why you have to do this and what it is. You don't. Just say, hey, we use lactate because we got some problems with lactose in the family. No, you got to point out a child every time. You got to make sure that you know that some of your kids can have it and some of them can't every time. Like, Stop doing that. This is the Slop ASMR channel. It's called ASMR Slop with Amy Marion. Delicious. This is really good. I'm putting it in my slow cooker. Look at it all over her hands and everything. She just slops it everywhere. Put the lid on it, put it in the refrigerator so we can heat it up for another day. So she did all of that to tell us that she's going to put it in the slow cooker, put the slow cooker in the refrigerator and cook it another day. So why did you put the noodles and cook them and waste all that time? You could have put dry noodles in there and cook them and they would have cooked in the crock pot when you warmed them up. Instead, now they're just going to be quadruple cooked. They're going to have cooked and then set and then cooked and then set again. You're really on top of your stuff today, Amy. Everything out, everything's washed. Washed up my stove because that's usually the last thing I do. And I'm like, Ugh, one more thing to do. And then I looked at my list and I'm like, what else did I have on there? I have a snack I'm going to mix up. But the other thing was chicken salad and egg salad. For Got to make sure you have those salads for your, all your sandwiches, right? Sandwiches for the weekend because we had some chicken lunch meat. So weird we bought it. it. I had to throw it away. Never have to throw away lunch meat. So one of those things, getting tired of it so they don't eat it anymore, which is. So why do you keep buying all of the same things? Why do you do that? If you know that they're not going to eat it because they get tired of it, why do you buy more? Fine. So I've got some eggs right here. I'm going to put them on the stove. Oh, see the explosion? <laughs> just because I didn't put it on properly. Do you ever do anything properly, Amy? Chicken salad. I'm just going to take chicken and drain it. We like the can. I only have to make one can because I don't have that many that we need to feed. We like this with Miracle Whip. That's it. We tried it with mayonnaise. The kids did not like it. So. so they like it as pure fat in canned chicken. Just Miracle Whip, which is pure fat in canned chicken. That sounds like a really good, healthy sandwich for your children. I guess at least they're getting a little bit of protein, huh? Um, they'll do it with bread, but they also like it on salting crackers. That's another favorite because we used to have um, way back when they were little. If we ran out of bread, it was like we always had crackers in the pantry. So it worked out good that way. So I'm going to put it in. Cheap, right? Just feed them out of a can and a cracker. That's not healthy, though, Amy. The sodium alone is not healthy for them. You are giving your children heart issues in the future. 
right here. Smash it with a fork, put some salt and pepper in there, and then um, mirror quick, easy. I like it with celery and everything, this is for the kids. They just like chicken salad. And you aren't even gonna try to make it a different way to see if they like it now. You said their taste buds change, they get tired of things, but don't give them the good way and see if they like it because it's too expensive. Make it the cheap way and force them to eat it until they're so tired of it they won't eat it anymore, right? That's it, so put this in the refrigerator. And then I pulled out some fruit. We have all these right here. They're gonna go bad. These are gonna go bad, so put this up. That sounds like everybody wants them. They're gonna go bad. Why don't you cut them up for them? Why don't you make them want them? Like you sit them out here all wrinkled up looking like old skin and you tell them, eat them up, they're gonna go bad. Yeah, that's appetizing, mom. I'm gonna eat that instead of the tra the snack mix you put back here, right? Get out of here. It's up this weekend. And then I think I'm gonna start on my treats. I didn't make pancakes because I just came down and had um, smoothie and we're happy. So the of course she didn't make pancakes. Autumn had to make her own pancakes and the other kids, they can have a smoothie and shut up. One thing I'm gonna do is a white chocolate harvest. I think I bought, well, kind of, I sort of bought the ingredients for, we used to make like a harvest snack mix with gold, uh, golden graham cereal. So this lady is making another snack mix, guys. She just made a snack mix. Do we remember the chocolate snack mix that was posted on September 21st? Yeah, that's right. That snack mix cost 20 or cost $45 and it was a total of 23,500 calories and they ate that snack mix. It is completely gone in eight days. That means an extra 3,000 calories a day her family ate between eight people. That means that if they each ate the same amount, which we know they didn't, some people ate way more. But on average, they each got an extra 375 calories a day. That's almost an extra meal a day. And that's if they didn't have anything else, like a Starbucks. Amy, you are actually trying to make your whole family fat with your cereal troughs of grazing snacks. Stop making them. Pretzels, bugles, and then you did like a brown sugar buttery mixture on top. That was good. Some kids got sick on it because they were sick at the time. You know how it is when you throw up on stuff, you never want to eat it again. So at Christmas, we made a white chocolate trash mix. And so I kind of Googled some recipes. Maybe if you didn't feed your kids so much junk, they wouldn't be throwing up so much on things. And I'm like, okay, so I think this one I'm going to add honey graham cereal. Mixture. Make sure you use the, the sweetest cereal possible. She needs to make sure that she adds as much sugar as she can into this because the kids, if they eat this, they don't eat as much food and her groceries last longer. Blow up at you. And this is a very cheap way to stretch calories. This cost her about $30 total and it's about 15,256 calories total. So she's looking at another 300 calories a day extra for her and her children. Those calories would have to come from somewhere. And this is a very cheap way to do it. She can do it for about 40 cents per um, serving. Way cheaper than anything else the kids are going to eat. The only thing is, is it's going to cause things like gout and celiac disease, and diabetes, and all the other horrible things that come along with eating horribly. Thought you'd never use again. <laughs> this has got sugar in it. It's like cinnamon grams. Now this is where you do the fall stuff. You get the um, fall colored candies. I have Reese's. These are Those packs right there cost $13 to $14 or $15 at Walmart. This is enough servings right here for so many people and she just keeps putting a third of the bag every time she makes these dessert treats this right here is alone 7,000 extra calories that she just throws in here now i'm just going to do these salted mixed nuts Is that it? And then she has her rancid oil out again i bet all of the kids get sick again these in here instead of getting a new bag I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. My white chocolate was melting in there. I don't know if the bottom ones, they were the chips, they might have got a little hot. Of course you burnt the chocolate, of course. 
We'll just see if it hits like magnet and super smooth. I'm like, I totally forgot about it, but we'll see. She burnt it. Let's see. I'm thinking of adding butterscotch chips to this. You do not need to add butterscotch. You already have sweet cereal and chocolate. What do you need to add the butterscotch for? I think that would be a nice little flavor. Because we've got this big thing. She always has to add extra calories. She never knows what she's doing. She already burnt this chocolate. Let's add a little bit of butterscotch and make it taste even different. Oh, here, so I might have to wait my cup of this. Oh, that smells good already. Like a butterscotchy. Sip some popcorn here for a minute. Just Make sure you put on a lot of salt and butter. This doesn't have enough sodium in it. The 12,000 milligrams of sodium isn't enough. Put a lot more. Put some butter in there. And popcorn salt. Key is how much? I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Stir it real good. Mix it with your hands. And I'm gonna She's been doing this for 30 years, but she hasn't figured it out yet. And stir it with your hands so you can make sure that you get your butt juices on every single thing. Because we know you walk around touching your phone, you walk around touching your earbuds, and then you don't wash your hands with soap. You don't even own soap. Put it in the big pot over there. Then you get that salty with the sweetness. Bunch of things at once. And I think just pour this on top. I think that's going to be really good. This is not even a thing. This is just her slopping food together to make it stretch so that her kids have a snack. It's ridiculous. And all it's going to do is give her kids unhealthy eating habits and possible diseases. Even cancer. So that's going to taste good, right? I think I'm going to have to do two bowls here. Because, of course... She doesn't have anything to p big enough to put it in, or she made too much. Why did you need to make so much? You couldn't have just made a small amount? Okay, let's mix this in here. I have to let this get hard first. Yeah, the popcorn on the face. Along with all the grease. Amy, when you slam this disgusting food down your face, of course, you are going to get big zits. You are going to have grease all over, and you're going to have food stuck to your face like you always do. Of course first before you put it in containers but i'll put it in my glass jar later after it sits this tastes really good like like i think they call it christmas trash mix or you could literally see her zip poked out as soon as she started eating all this santa's trash mix or something like that so we put it in the containers now i got my eggs i just what do you think that does to your children Jaden's face all of the acne that your children get is because of all of this crap that you make them peel those i didn't show those i put the salt and butter in here I'm just gonna put them in the bag. how do you not feel that on your face I get a hair on my face and I can feel it. How do you not feel that big old popcorn kernel on your face? All right, so I am finished. I got all of my clean the inside. She wore that popcorn the rest of the day. Popcorn machine that gets dirty. And you have a fantastic rest of your day and a great day. Okay, so now we're on to Saturday, guys. We've went through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and now we're on to Saturday. We're almost done with the week. This is Amy's Saturday sermon. A lot of people don't watch them. She only gets about a thousand views on it. But it was very interesting this week, so let's give it a little listen. Plus, we're doing the whole week, so we have to see Amy's Saturday sermon. Happy Saturday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. Up, oh, the sun is starting to come out over here. You know, there's seasons. There's seasons in life where everything seems to be wonderful, and it seems to be great, and it seems to go, and then the enemy gets in there. He creeps in there, and he starts doing things. He starts getting in there and twisting things a little bit. And at first, it's like, it's okay forgive and move on and then more and more and more happens and it just becomes so much that it destroys amy is in a perpetual holy war amy has more in common with the taliban than she does with protestants those creeps in the bakery really must be getting to her because she can't stop talking about her holy war that she is raging in your land in your home in your place and it's like and it gets to that desperation of like, okay, why God? Why this? And I think about these things and I think, okay, how, it, how easy it is to get so far gone. It's like, what are we missing? Why are these happenings? Yes, I understand that the enemy is ruler of this earth. I understand, you know, people. The enemy is ruler of Amy's earth. You don't sound like a very faithful person. People have a choice to do what they want, but why? Are they allowed in a believer's life? Like, what is it that, yes, the enemy's doing wrong, but what is it we're doing wrong? Like, what is it I'm doing wrong? What's the wisdom? It's the wisdom and knowledge to see things. And I think that... I think, Amy, what, you're do what you are doing wrong, I think your biggest enemy 
isn't me. It isn't the bakery. It's ungratefulness. It's privilege. And it's pride. How is your life so hard in a brand new house, Amy? How is your life so hard with a healthy family? How is your life so hard with food on the table and your rent paid? Is it hard because people aren't kissing your butt? Is it hard because people aren't calling you great? How can someone with so much feel so slighted, Amy? How? It is a slap in the face to people that struggle. People that are poor, people that are destitute, people that are infirmed. To listen to you sit here and complain so comfortably about the most insignificant crap. You complain about everything. And there are people out here that literally are barely surviving. You created every one of your problems, Amy, and you sit there and complain about them. You claim that you're a Christian and you give your testimony every single Saturday to followers. But yet you complain nonstop about your enemies. It makes you very difficult to listen to your witnessing. How can you be witnessing when you're complaining so much? Who would look at you, Amy, and be attracted to Christianity? Who would look at your life that you make look so difficult and think, wow, I should be a Christian? If you're so dissatisfied with your life and how things are with everything you have, how could somebody look at you and say, wow, I want to be a Christian like her. I want to grumble about my life and complain and not have a good heart spirit. I want to have a complaining spirit. That's not what people do. When people look at you and all you're complaining and you're supposed to be a Christian, they're turned off from God. They are turned away, Amy. That is what you're doing. This is not fulfilling God's get, God's request. This is filling Amy's request for attention. You are an attention seeker. That is why I am here giving you attention. And that is why the bakery sits on the bakery and gossips about you all the time. Because you are asking for attention. Maybe you should stop asking for attention. That's why God's word. Read it. It doesn't mean you're going to be perfect. It doesn't mean you're not going to miss things. But being alert all the time and asking God, okay, what do I do with this? And then when you see something go wrong, instead of dismissing it, becoming passive. Yeah, passive. No, Amy. Being alert all the time is called hypervigilance. And it's not a good thing. It's a bad thing. It's anxiety and stress. And it's usually caused or brought on but as a response to trauma. I'm passive. <laughs> and going, all right, God, don't dismiss, don't dismiss this. But what do I need to do about it? Confront it. All right, Lord, but what do I do moving forward? What can I do to prevent the stealing, taking, and destroying of things in my life? Like, it's going to happen. The enemy's going to try to do things in your life. But how do I keep him with, out of my life and not having any hand in it? Hey, guys. Well, at least you asked the right questions, Amy. What? Is God doing wrong for you, right? Because God has to be doing something wrong. It has to be God's fault. Something has to be wrong. I'll tell you what you're doing wrong. It's not God. It's you, Amy. You're filming your life and exploiting your children for money. What can you do to keep the enemy out of your life? Stop filming your life for money. Stop. Or do what you're doing and start a whole new YouTube channel where you're not exploiting your life and your children. Exploit yourself. That's fine. I tell you that all the time. Exploit yourself. If you want to sell yourself, sell yourself however you want. Get yourself an OnlyFans, whatever you want, Amy, but don't exploit your children. They have to grow up and become adults, and all of your film, all of your content is going to be there for the rest of their lives. Stop. Get yourself a different way to make money. You do not need to use your children to make money. And what you put on YouTube, YouTube owns. You do not own it. These are, YouTube is not your platform. You use YouTube to post videos. Once you post videos up for everybody to see, YouTube owns those videos. Not you, Amy. 
everybody a great day today. Today is Monday. Happy Monday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going wonderfully. I'm up, ready for my Monday to start. I've got things to pick up. I've got a list to accomplish today. It's good. The weekends come and we don't do a whole lot, which that's what... The weekends come and they rest and the weekdays come and she rests some more. Amy, when do you do a lot? On the two days that you film everything? The weekends are four. We just enjoy being together, you know, being together as family, doing stuff. And so um, she just ignores Maxine. I bet her neighbors love her. A lot of stuff gets put by the wayside. So I just threw a huge load of laundry, huge load of laundry in. Towels, getting those in. We're going to clean up and get moving with her day. You guys ready for a wonderful motivation? We are ready, Amy. We've already went through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We took a break for Sunday and we are back for our last day of the week. We already know who went on a trip. We know who came back from the trip. Did she come back? We don't know if she came back. What if, what if she doesn't come back? And then Amy will only have five kids. Sit down this morning. So for myself, I got to do a little bit more today and that's okay. Another day, it can be nothing, and I can sit and do nothing. So, but today's gonna be some cleaning up. Get the house picked up. We need floors um, swept. We need them mopped. We need the rugs washed. We bought. Are you gonna mop them on your hands and knees again? Dark colored rugs. Don't buy. Why would I buy dark colored? Why would you buy dark colored rugs? You don't need that because you have pool and dirt and sand and you see on everything. So, we need to clean. You have dirt and pool and sand and sea on everything. Come on, Amy. Talk. Actually, use words. Those Maxine's out there barking. There is a no. Maxine is out there losing her crap. Maxine is out there bothering the neighbors. Maxine is out there making a nuisance of herself. Squirrel out there and it taunts her. So no, there is no other dog out there. There is no squirrel out there. It's just Maxine losing her crap. I'm gonna go and get her. The neighbor dogs are barking too over there. So the neighbor dogs are barking, but we can't hear them. We can hear one dog barking. Sure, Amy. Sure. Like a whole bunch of dogs barking. She running back in. Whole bunch of dogs barking, but we can only hear Maxine. Sure. She's coming kind of running over here. So here she is. She's like, let me back in. Get the squirrel. Did you get it? Of course she's like, I don't care. I need my dog bone for the morning. <laughs> Goofy dog. So anyway, it's okay. So we're going to get down. We're going to get a lot done. We're going to make food. We it's dark again. We can't see. Get all of our food up this weekend. Every there's nothing left. I think there's a little bit of chicken salad left, but that's it. So we're going to have to make food. My grocery. That chicken salad was only one can. I mean, how much did you guys eat? Two sandwiches of it? You act like you ate so much. Because we're supposed to last through last week, and they, they're still, we still have a lot of groceries. So we are actually doing really good. So I wrote a, how much? Okay, so you're doing really good, Amy. But let's see. This week, you had walking tacos with a pound of hamburger meat, maybe. And you didn't even use it all because you used some of that in your fillies. You had pizza from Walmart for dinner on Wednesday. On Thursday, you had chili beans, and you used, what, a quarter pound of meat? You had fillies with your six-day-old burgers on Friday, and on Saturday, you had, what, London broil bits inside of your fried rice? Sunday, what did you guys have, the cabbage soup or something? And Monday, what are we having on Monday? Amy, you act like you cooked food. You didn't cook anything. Those are, none of those were meals. Got some list of things to do. I had some like phone calls, <sighs> phone calls, phone calls, phone calls. I got to do those again today. So I'm going to take a break a little bit and do that. House, not too bad clean up. I get it cleaned up enough to like, um, you know, have kids come help do things, but just enough so I can get my stuff done and they come in and help with the rest. So you guys are ready for a good, wonderful. She still got that watermelon that she bought two weeks ago. She just said over two weeks ago is when they went shopping. That's when she got that watermelon and the other one was fuzzy. So this one must have an entire civilization living inside of it. Day, getting things done. Sound good? All right, let's go. It's a little powder. I'm just going to sprinkle it on there and get this wet again. Yeah, this is what your counters need. Once a week cleaning and they get a little bit of powder and a Norex. Yes. Okay, that took the spots off that. That's a good thing. So I'm going to let that air dry there and I'll put everything back. Got a lot of stuff on my counter this morning that I have to do things with. That's why there's like lots of clutter piles. <laughs> That's okay. We'll get to them. You have tons of clutter piles all the time, your entire life. Eventually. And I love that my kids love cooking and they're all learning, which is a great thing. But it definitely, I think my stove will never be clean again. And it's not that they don't clean up their mess. Of course, your stove is dirty because of your kids. Your counters are crusty because of your kids. Because they're learning to cook, right? Everything's because of your kids. It's that just with everything. When you're learning to cook, nothing's perfect, right? Like you're always going to have something. So, Are you still learning to cook? 
perfection for cleaning isn't there. That's okay. So looking at all those cracks going, huh, I'm going to clean that. Do you have a perfection for cleaning? I, I think that they're getting all of this from you, Amy. Uh, lack of cooking skills. Desire to not clean. Yeah. Sounds like they're just like you. Oh, well, good. Got the clean it. The cover is wiped up, which is a good thing. I need to fill this up with more water. I always I forget about it because if you don't drink, use the butter up all the time. Like sometimes we go through it real quick. Sometimes we don't. I think today I'm mean, using bread and butter. But it's like I'll forget and then I'll like it'll get moldy. The swamp butter holder gets moldy if you leave tepid water and fat sitting out in the Florida heat to grow bacteria. Hmm. You don't say, Amy. You are really losing your crap, Amy. Put that butter in the refrigerator. It's too hot in your house to have tepid water sitting around. Not bad. Everybody loved it. Oh, delicious. Still there. We still have. A of course everybody loved it, Amy. It's. 17,000 calories that you guys will eat in the next couple days. Of course, it's sweet. It's gooey. We saw it all over your face. We know they like it. Couple, which is a good thing. It's a nice lighter snack. It doesn't have like a... T it's light. Did you just call it light, Amy? It's literally candy. It's not light. There's nothing light in it. It's very, 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 very bad for you time where it's too much it's just it was good enough a mixture of everything so i'm gonna put everything back and then probably wash these dishes so i put this up here it definitely holds it. she talks about this every day now it's a catch-all we just watched a week and you've already talked about this thing in this edit and this is an edit so i've cut some of it out three times amy three times in a week you don't have to tell us everything a million times it makes your videos boring everything it's my charcuterie my charcuterie board if i like to put this key how many more views do you think you can lose amy before you can't pay your rent uh, we use the jbl speaker outside so amy used to get forty-three thousand views on a video now sometimes she can't even get ten thousand views we have home security and so my home security system all the cameras show on here it's what we got for our security system. So we can see all of our cameras, see every inch of our house, every inch of our property, which is a good thing, and then some. <laughs> so that's what I have here. Okay. Yeah, that's important to make sure everybody knows about your security system so that they can disable it, right? We also cleaned, um, we were power washing outside last night, or yesterday, this weekend, and uh, my bucket of full of sludge and disgustingness from my smoker. Because she only cleans her smoker once every three years. Um, I took the insert out, but it had gone underneath it. Her smoker was so dirty that she doesn't even smoke with pellets or wood anymore. She just smokes with the old, disgusting leftovers of previous smokes. I could just take out the inserts and just have it clean that way. It didn't work like that, so. Because you never put an insert in it. You just let your grease flow everywhere. I need to clean that, but I need a clean sink so I can uh, rinse it off in there. So, and then You shouldn't be rinsing that in the sink anyway, Amy. You don't even have... A garbage disposal you're putting grease and oil down your sink you know you have to pay if it breaks right like you're the homeowner you have to pay to pay to fix it this Kathy she's so sweet she said she heard me say that my mom I would talk about my mom she always sent me different towels she my mom was always this is why she mentions the candle of her mother her dead mother this is why she mentions the hand lotion of her dead mother so that her followers will feel sorry for her and send her stuff Amy's mother used to send her hand towels, and now one of her followers is going to mother her and send her hand towels. Amy is a grifter. She wants free stuff, so she asks without asking. That's why she says weird things like she says, because she's always trying to get something for free to see what she can get. Big. Like towels for every holiday or every season. We'd always get a box of something and have towels for fall, towels for Christmas, towels for, you know, Easter. But she's had this channel for six years and I've never seen a video of her opening a package of towels and aprons from her mother, ever. But Kathy, so sweet, she said that she's going to, she's going to, health willing, she's going to send me towels every season because she felt like she needed to do that. I was like, oh my goodness. Made me cry, Kathy. Thank you. So she got me these. Mesh my kitchen. Look at Hello Fall. A little pumpkin there. It's crazy when her followers can match the kitchen better than Amy can. She, they can send her something that matches better than Amy can purchase it herself. Colors, lovely. So, so thank you, Kathy. You made this daughter's heart. So. Did she call herself? 
Kathy's daughter for some stupid kitchen towels? Amy, you're so weird and creepy. You don't have to call her mother just to get some free towels. Trust me. Kathy will give you towels even if you don't call her mother. Right there, we got one right there. I wonder if I should put one on my stove. Put them everywhere. Just get them all dirty. Ruin them all as soon as you get them. But make sure that you don't like steam them up or iron them so they look nice on it. <laughs> Those are cute. Little touch of home there. So sweet. So thank you, Kathy. I'm still sitting there. I'm like, I wanted to share um, in here because I thought that was so sweet. I she wanted to share to make sure other people buy her items also, Kathy. What she did. So now I have some fall towels. So thank you, Kathy. Here's Don't wash them first or anything, Amy. The towel situation. This is probably like last Thursday. I don't think I did anything Friday. Thursday, a little bit of extra. So I'm going to put. She doesn't know what she did and when she did it because her days are all recorded at the same time and they don't make sense to anybody, even her. And who, I think it's Steven, plays with these. Only weirdos play with hand puppets trust me okay so i'm gonna come out of my kitchen because this area is done now for me um kids will do like i said i'll get a smoothie i'll go and get some bananas right now i will do that uh, and then this is it it's like i'm clean i cleaned this thing out this was ugh, gross disgusting so i have it cleaned it in your sink huh so that it all went down your drain good job amy insert for it even though you have a power washer outside you could have washed it with i will make sure it's back there to put in there the soap thing i do not like my soap dispenser this like barely pump it's broke you don't use it we know out that much soap so i'm gonna replace this it's on my replacing list <laughs> it just makes the soap not come out very well and i'm like i know you can buy a separate one but i'm like i already have one so i think in the when i was looking greg was taking a video of the house when we first came through there was another soap dispenser in the house funny that you noticed that they took the other soap dispenser right the bad people that sold you this house but you didn't notice the bullet holes in the fence or the holes in the walls or Anything else that was wrong with the house, right? The tiles broken. You didn't notice any of that, but you noticed that they stole your hand soap holder. I have one. It's probably because this didn't work very good. Obviously. So probably get a new one of those eventually. So this is done. Um, the living room needs to be done. I need to do under the couch because my robot vacuum does not go under the couch. I this is her trying to get a new robot vacuum. Passed along a couple different vacuums before we left, and one of those was a small one to go under my couch. So I didn't like was just thinking I'll use a stick vacuum, but I realized how nice it was that it did go under the furniture. So I might be in the This shelf is so close things won't even fit on it under the TV. Market for a skinny one underneath. We will see. But I do need to clean it because there's lots of feathers and lots of dust bunnies. But another day and then I had to laugh. I'm like, where's my new blanket down here? I think it's upstairs. <laughs> I got the it's a nice day outside. She had to laugh that they already took her blanket. Amy, why are you so passive aggressive? You know your kids are going to use those blankets. Why didn't you get them a blanket for upstairs, too? And I'm like, I'll be nice. I'll be looking forward to coming to the pool today. So we were cleaning up our this yesterday, so we've got everything in the yard. Like, sitting out here in the yard, we just have to pick up and put away. We'll do that. It's over there, too. Her yard is filthy. Look at all those. Look at all that stuff over there. We'll go do that later. Today I'll have the kids help um, bring the stuff up here. But let me go clean my kitchen windows. Here for towels. Lots of towels. Look at this. Look how full this. This is why her washer and dryer. Look how full it is. It's so full it's coming out. Her washer is shaking because it's broken because she puts too much inside of it. Look at that load. Last stuff in there. Bathing suits. Usually try to wash those once a week because we don't use them all the time. Got my windows clean for when I wanted to get clean. I'm like, okay, it's one of those things you can stare at. And since they're not brand new windows, it's like you can see the spots, you can see the flaws. If that washer is that lo that loud and shaking already, what's it going to be like in a year? Hell no. Take it back right now. Make them take it back. It is not supposed to sound like that, even if you stick 70 hundred towels in there like you did. Amy, stop overfilling your washing machine and stop breaking it. Take this one back and get a new one. That is already broke. There's no way that a new washing machine should sound like that. How much do I sit here and scrub these? Should I go get It's like at least some water. We were power washing uh, part of the back yesterday and it got out of the window. So I'm like, do I go get vinegar and wipe off these spots on here? Or is that just going to be like a in-depth thing? So I have to not take vinegar. So you're just going to leave the windows dirty with the power washer? Go ahead, Amy. It doesn't matter anyway. The inside of your house is dirty. Who cares if the outside is dirty? A normal average person is not going to notice that or stare at it. It's just going to be me when I walk by and go, oh, there's a big spot right there. So I don't care that much. As long as it does 
or when people look through your windows and they can't see through because it's so dirty, they'll notice. Fast smudges. And like that loud washing machine. How do you handle that? All of that on there. That is a brand new washing machine. It should not sound like that. Literally. I'm good with that. So the good thing is, you can see on my windows again. Towel, somebody towels. The kids usually fold towels too, but I don't mind doing this kind of stuff. They're going to do other things. We have a lot of extra chores. There's no other things for the kids to do. Should they have to wash her car and fill her pods? First to do today. Sometimes we do on Mondays. Sometimes we don't. Just depends on the Monday. So let me put this. I don't think you should wash your towels or fold your towels in here if this is how loud your washing machine is, Amy. It makes it very hard to hear you and it's not pleasant. Take these back out into the living room and fold them on your couch because your washer is ridiculous. Just because I don't want to spend the entire day, like later doing food, it's going to be easy for dinner tonight. So I'm going to fold these and go in my garage and get my clothes and stuff. Okay, so I got what I need to get done cleaning. I even cleaned the bathroom in there. Um, and then I think like other things were she said they clean the bathroom like it was a big chore She said they don't use that bathroom Like clean up the vacuum. So those will be things I'll have to do later. I don't want to do that right now I'm gonna get food rolling and done so it's finished before I even start my day because I have like Mondays are always long because she pretends that Food is her love language, but she hates cooking. So the sooner that she can get it over with the better if you take long to edit, it takes long. I have a bedroom I want to get done today, too, and there's other things in school, you know, all that stuff. So let's hurry up and let's whip dinner together like in language speech. We do let's hurry up and whip get dinner together, and who cares if it's disgusting? I don't care. I'll make the kids eat it anyway. I'm going to do that. So first, I'm going to do, I've got a pot of water boiling right there. And then I'm going to take a pound of hamburger. Of course, it's frozen, solid, like a brick. I'm going to put that in my pot here and I'm gonna put it on the stove so this coats real quick and then I've got two of these I'm gonna put these since they're frozen solid in a pot so she's gonna make spaghetti with one pound of hamburger meat for eight people hurry up and heat them up so they can thaw and melt so can, I was just gonna put them in my slow cooker which I'm gonna do with all of it mixed spaghetti at the end but I don't want to put it in there and wait for it to thaw all day it'll thaw in your slow cooker the same way it'll thaw in a pan Amy And of course, this pan is not big enough. She's just going to jam it in there. Make sure you touch all over it, Amy. You haven't washed your hands. We know that. I'm going to put together more like that. That was Amy washing her hands, rinsing it in water. I'm going to turn my oven on. I'm going to cook some, um, I like to make our eggs and lunches. And we're out of some treats. I didn't make any. Um, I oh, no, you're out of treats. He can't go to work with no treats. I make cookies this weekend. So I'm going to make some cookies for that. Thank God you have a big, gigantic bucket of cookies. And then check out my food over here. Cooked everything real quick. It went fast over there. So I'm going to put it in the slow cooker so it's done for the day. This yeah, good job. Look at that bell. So I was able to put the... That's a big bell. Onions and peppers that I chopped up. On that to me looked like a baby bell. About four months along. You let me know how far you think Amy is along if she was pregnant. Because I think about 12 weeks she was waiting because she wanted to make sure it was a sticky one. That was She's still not going to tell us, though, because it's very high risk if she is. And that was awesome. I didn't have to cut anything up. The, um, I was thinking about it, that dinner I made on Friday. If you're not pregnant, Amy, you and Greg should try to get pregnant. Go ahead. Have another one. You need it for your channel. For the Philly cheesesteak, and I used the burger pieces. Yeah, that was delicious. I only had one. She's going to rave about her Philly cheesesteak because it was six days old. It was rotten, Amy. You had one kid that didn't like it. Let me guess. Jensen? One child that didn't like it. And they sometimes have different things they don't like, but everybody else loved it. It was delicious. Delicious. I feel very sorry for those kids that they got duped into eating six-day-old leftovers. Delicious. I'm definitely... When the actual... Safety Department, National Safety Food Administration says do not eat leftovers after three to four days. It's okay. It's good. It's great. It's delicious. It's Amy. She can do whatever she wants. That in my rotation or when I at least had leftover um, burger pieces because it was so, so good. So Yeah, put that in your rotation, Amy. Burn the burgers. Use a screwdriver on them. Leave them in the refrigerator for six days and then make sloppy Joe fillies. 
that's what you should definitely put in your rotation. Philly cheesesteak sloppy joes. I just didn't do hamburger. I used the steak pieces. So hamburgers in here, pasta's cooking, and the tomato sauce is almost melted. So no, the spaghetti has one pound of meat in it. So pretty much not enough protein for the family again. Make sure these noodles get cooked about three or four times before they eat them. This is done, so I don't have to worry about doing it because later when dinner is here, I have other things to do. So now it's finished. It's in the slow cooker. I'm going to sit right here. And the beauty is it's done. Nothing more. The corn is done. I've got that good Cuban bread. Now she's done. She doesn't have to do anything else. It's Motivational Monday. She's moving right along, guys. She's in in her week in style. Really good, and I got butter. It she doesn't even like spaghetti. She said half the kids don't like spaghetti, but Greg likes it. So here we are having spaghetti again. It's easy. So this, I'm going to clean up. My salt was empty, so I'm going to wash it up. I'm going to take my pepper, put it in a container, and then wash this off, let it dry, and then I can add, um, put more stuff back in there. My first batch has come out. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. The cookies never look finished. They never look good. They're never, like, evenly cooked because her oven doesn't work good. Oh, something else. And then the couch, the vacuum kept getting stuck under the couch. So that led me into, like, not being able to get it because there was a little corner piece underneath fire in the back because there was, like, popsicle sticks under there and applesauce packets and a lot of extra um, stuff that... So your kids just throw their, gar they're 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, and 18, and they throw their garbage under the couch. Good job, kids. You guys are, are, are great children. You deserve everything your mother does for you. Got stuck in it, so I just <laughs> slid that whole couch all the way over. Put the vacuums back there so they can vacuum that area up over there and get the floors clean because it needs to be clean. She can handle those loud vacuums all day, but she can't handle her, her dishwasher going. I don't get it. She can handle that loud wa uh, washing machine, but she can't handle her dishwasher going. And then I'm going to get out. I've got my fruit here for smoothies. I'm gonna Amy, your acne is getting bad because you eat that snack mix all day, every day. It's like eating Snickers all day, every day. They like strawberries, you can't see. They like strawberries and banana in there. We used to do like a chocolate monkey milkshake, and that's really good too. The, uh, these are like frozen salad. She used to also put things in her milkshakes to make them worth eating. She used to put chia seeds in there for the kids. She used to put other, other ingredients that made them worthwhile for the kids. Now she puts bananas and strawberry and that's it. And milk. The kids get maybe 200 calories and it's nothing but carbohydrates, sugar. It's not good for them, Amy. You could put a lot of good things in here. You could put bee pollen. You could put all types of chia seeds and different things like that, but you don't because you're, you know your kids won't eat it because it won't be sweet enough. It won't be candy. Your kids only eat candy. I might thaw these for one second in the microwave. But can I break my car? I can't break my car. Just smash it. You don't need to thaw anything. Just smash it. Hulk smash. Sometimes I get them out. Oh yeah, they'll separate. So they like this, which is almond milk. Real simple. And they'll drink it. So and They like this, but she already told us last week that she had to put it in the refrigerator because they wouldn't drink it. They don't want to drink these, Amy. They're tired of drinking them. Everybody can have it, which is nice. You're a maniac, Amy. You could have cut this part out. That's the beauty of these plastic containers is that you can kind of scrape on them and beat on them and they're not going to... They're just chip plastic into your food and you'll have, eat, be eating plastic. It's good. It's all good. It's great. It's delicious. Great. The thinner ones, there's no way you can ever do that. Perfect. This will go here. I'll put some almond milk in there and that will be smoothie while we're doing school. I think that that's her motto. There's no way she could ever do anything perfectly. And by perfectly, she just means good. Okay. Yeah, Greg, with the 1,800 calorie lunch again. Look at him. His two sandwiches, both of those sandwiches, probably about 400 calories each. Good job, Amy. Oh, look, she's bagging up his cookies. He must be eating too many. She's going to pre-bag him up. Six cookies a day, Greg. That is all. Your bell is getting too big. Look, she really is putting six cookies. So what I did is I took the cookies and I put them inside Ziploc bags just so I can pack them as lunch for the week, divided them up. She divided them up by the week. She said, if you eat these too fast, you can get nothing else, big boy. Imagine having to go to work 
and she stays home all day. But then she treats you like that. Like she put a limit on how many cookies you can have. She doesn't look like she has a limit on how many cookies she can have. Extra here for the kids and he'll have some extra too. So the kids get none. If Greg has to have a limit, don't give those kids any. They're ruddy kids. They have all different kinds of other treats in the house. Greg can't have just one thing he wants. You have things you like. You have a whole office to yourself. And Greg can't even get a darn cookie to himself. Some you need to stop listening to the bakery telling you how to live your life with your husband and give him what he wants before he leaves you again. Four and then I've got three on a cookie sheet here. So my Amazon delivery came and I just had got my dishes came today. So I looked these ones up. Dowin. I like Dowin stuff. I have Dowin a lot. Of She's hawking this stuff, guys. Only the bakery, the stupid women over at the bakery think she pays for this stuff. She gets it for free. She gets to pick out product. She shows it to us and then we buy it and we get they give her a discount code. She does not pay for this crap. It's free to her. That's why she hawks it. Because it was free. Amy will take anything that was free. Dowin offered her free items and she took it. She did not pay for these expensive dishes. So if you cannot afford them, don't go pay for them because you think that you need them. You don't and neither did she. But she got them for free. And only the not so smart bakers think that she paid for them. Salt and pepper shaker, my butter dish, a lot of my pans. And so I've been looking. All of the stuff you got for free, Amy. You haven't bought any of it yourself. Nancy bought you your, your um, salt and pepper shakers and everything else was free. So I bought and ordered some more pasta dishes. So we have a set that is complete versus not. And I got these ones from that one. So these are my old ones. So they're a lot smaller. So I want to wash these. I got eight of them so that we can... Um, all have you know dinner together and match your place. The reason I got these today is because what I've been doing is making a list of things that I want to get. And so when I see them go on sale, get them. That's what I did. So, so she had a certain amount of money. These plates went on sale. So this is what she picked out for her little voucher. It's free, guys. She's not paying for this. Don't go out and buy new things just because Amy does. Because Amy doesn't buy new things. Link below. They always give you a discount too, so that's a good thing. I know one of my viewers, Kelly, she likes it too, so use the discount code because you can get some percentage off even if you want something else. But I was searching on these and I'm like, ooh, those are on sale right now. I need to get those. So that's how, usually how I do my shopping. Sometimes I just buy it if I, you know, need it right away, but sometimes I like to like scour out and go, okay, wait, when is the good deal? On? She waits for the good deal, guys. Good deal equals free. On that going to be here? When is that going to be here? And then that way it's not, you know, you save a few dollars. If you don't need it right away, like, yeah, we can eat on cracked dishes. That's no big deal, but I'm like, I would like to replace them. So you just went and bought all those new plastic dishes right before you moved here. Why are you lying? You were so happy with your little plastic dishes. You know why? Because you had to pay for them. So you bought the cheapest dishes you could find, $1 each. But as soon as you got free dishes, you bought the good expensive ones because it was free, Amy. You get what's free all the time. They are nice ones, so these are good. Let me wash these and I'll put them for dinner tonight. Perfect, let me get my cookies, we're almost done. Okay, I'm looking at my stuff, I'm like, I'm pretty much done here in the kitchen, which is good. The other stuff is like, clean my room, which I will do. I'm gonna do school and stuff for the kids first. That can be like, oh, I don't wash my Let me get my water and then, I'm <laughs> just thinking, the other thing was wash my floor. Let me get my water and then wash the floor. Leftover Sunday coffee, I don't drink it, and then I have this. <laughs> Nobody cares about your coffee, Amy. Nobody but the bakery. So is this video for the bakery or is it for your other viewers? Because there's only about 15 bakers on there that even talk about you. Just ignore them. They're all idiots. Take in, I took two vitamin C and just put it in my water here. It does help to have it sitting out, so I drink it, and I can drink my coffee as well. I'm going to go my mop pad. I'll do the floor real quick before everybody comes downstairs making, you know, footprints everywhere, and then it can dry. Yeah, we wanted to watch her do her f whole entire floor with one pad. She doesn't use any water. She doesn't use any cleaner. She uses this spray bottle on a couple places, and she thinks she's cleaning the floor. She's not. She's messing. It's 1041. Her kids are still asleep. Her husband's probably in the bedroom still asleep, and she's just in here messing. We're at the end of the week, and Amy hasn't actually made anything all week long. This spaghetti dinner was the closest thing she got to making a dinner. Over the week, her meals were literally walking tacos, 
Tuesday, Wednesday, pizza from Walmart, Thursday, chili beans with leftover rice and a quarter pound of meat, Friday, fillies from six-day-old leftover burgers, Saturday, who knows what they had, the beef fried rice, the cabbage soup, who knows what they had, on Monday, spaghetti with corn, like her entire week was no food. It's no wonder she didn't use any of her food up. It's no wonder she doesn't need to go shopping. Her kids sleep all day. She probably gives them medicine to keep them asleep so that she can just go ahead and zoom around the house and do what she wants to do and make her videos and make her money. And who cares if the kids eat or they get healthy or they learn anything? Who cares? She has a whole floor. With no, she just wipes it and she thinks she's cleaning. She literally sprayed one spray right there. That's it. Kids are up and moving. They're getting upstairs, getting there. It's almost 11 o'clock on the, on the clock when she was working and she's saying they're just now getting up. She's got another pile of dishes here to fall on somebody. Mondays are always hard pushed to like, okay, I gotta get out of bed. I'm gonna like start cleaning my vacuums out in a minute. I'm gonna make a smoothie for them as they're waking up, starting their morning. I don't care. That smoothie's been sitting over there forever now. Now it's gonna just be warm smoothie. It can't be frozen anymore. It's been there for, what, an hour? But like right away be up at seven. I found, I found, because I have a lot of kids. Five, how many's out of here? Six, how many's out of here? No, se seven. Seven can successfully get themselves out of bed. Seven kids successfully get themselves out of bed. Amy, you only have 10 kids. You only have 10 kids. Four of them are still at home and they do not successfully. You know what 10 minus four is? Six. Yeah, Amy. Learn your maths. Job or for school when they need to. So you mamas that have ones that sleep in, you have a later schedule. Don't worry. Don't think you're raising lazy kids. They you're raising lazy kids and you're going to make it really hard for them to have to learn when they get older. But you don't care because they'll be out of your hair and it won't be your problem do learn to get up they definitely do it's not not even that they have to get up for myself i like to get my filming and i like to get the stuff that i need to get done. she would prefer them to stay asleep that's the real truth she tells everybody that they are sleeping in i think she just locks them in their room you have to stay in your room until i'm done filming you're not coming down here you're not gonna do anything she just makes them stay in their room you don't want to be in my video you don't get to be downstairs and that's why they scream and yell because it's ridiculous it's all ridiculous everything she does is ridiculous they're old enough, Amy, that they can be quiet. They're old enough that you can tell them to be quiet while you film. I'm like, stay in bed so I can get things done. Otherwise, it's crazy. If I had to film when there was kids everywhere, it'd be... It's crazy. It'd be like a middle school. You know, children can sit quietly, even an entire auditorium of children. Your six children aren't going to be so loud you can't record, Amy, unless you allow them to be when they're off and doing their thing otherwise I wouldn't be able she thinks her children are always better off doing their thing that's why she sends them all off that's why Brooklyn is already visiting her boyfriend and doing everything she wants at 16 years old this little girl is already graduated working full-time and taking adult trips to go visit her boyfriend and that's okay because that's what Amy wants Amy wants her children to get the hell away from her as quickly as possible because she doesn't want to parent them. She only wanted to have them so she could brag about having them, so she could say she was a mama of 10. She doesn't want to actually be a mama of 10. I will sit and talk with you or do any of that. Just be like, if I was Brooklyn, I wouldn't come back. And what happens if Brooklyn comes back pregnant? A normal blogger with lots of kids around all the time. So what I'm going to do is make a smoothie because we have a It's okay because Brooklyn would be working now. She's a working mama, right? She'll just do what you did and work the rest of her life. A lot of that to use up. The only bad thing is I've tried windows and sunshine is not a camera's friend. No, it is. You see how it's bright right now? When you close the windows, it gets dark. Just don't turn your camera towards the window, Amy. Come on, be smart. You know how to do this. You just don't want to do it. And so um, I love having my windows wide open. That is my favorite. Love it because the mountains, I had them open, but it was always so like, like in the winter, it was nice. It was nice and bright, but it was cold sometimes. So you'd want to keep them shut as much because, you know, it's a little bit chilly. But here I'm like, I have them open. I'm like, I want that sunshine to come. I want that bright light. But you had French doors in your kitchen at the other house. The windows were always open and it was always bright. I always messes up my camera balance here too. So we're going to do our best. So I'm going to shut. Filming in this house is horrible and you know it. And you don't know how to use it yet. So either get yourself some lighting or figure out the lighting in this house. Keep my lights up, save some money, and make a smoothie here. 
Okay, we have not cleaned out our vacuums in a long time, it seems, and so this stick vacuum here. So it makes sense that you would show us your dirty, disgusting vacuums because it's more, more footage for you, and who cares if you embarrass your children? I'm like, I think something happened to the move. I'm sure it happened to the move. There is like a couple of things that were dropped and then the plastic piece broke off. So like the handle where it locks in broke off. The, the part where it... Everything's broke. We get it, Amy. Why don't you just outright ask your followers for a new one? Be like, hey guys, it's broke. Please send me a new one. Connects the canister broke off. So we're like using a butter knife to kind of open it up that way. Imagine buying a $650,000 house and then not having enough money to own a vacuum away so it's good it was just really dirty it was clogged and the girls were like it's smelling bad so it, but we the vacuum stinks everything in this house stinks this house is actually wretched what i'm doing is tackling chores sometimes after we do school but today there's like a lot of little extra so i'm like let's get our school our chores done and then we'll work on school she's not gonna do school so i'm like that works so no one likes cleaning the vacuums out nobody does so i'm like i can take on that job so i got that stick vacuum oh my goodness that was so bad so bad that's the one that you leave in the kitchen. No wonder it stinks. They always have Maxine poo-poo on the floor, and then these robot vacuums roll over Maxine's poo-poo and drag it all around, and then she doesn't clean them. Of course the house stinks. Stairs. I need something for the stairs, so I need to have a regular, like a stick one. Or so start sending out emails, Amy. Start grifting. Start getting your promotions, your sponsors. Get something for free. Come on. Something just because... You can't vacuum stairs with one of these robot floor ones here. So, but like I said, it's trapped. So it's kind of like one of those like, ugh, inconvenience ones. Thankfully, they're not too much money. But, you know, you Thankfully, they're not too much money. I have a $650,000 house, but I can't afford a vacuum. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do and buy a $650,000 house so that you can show off for your channel. Look at her sniffing the vacuum. Her vacuum smells so bad, she sniffed it. She sniffed the robot vacuum. Okay, we're getting things done inside. I wanted to, we power wash this off, but this did not do very good. You know when you clean things, it just. Power washing is not how you clean stainless steel. Of course, you're gonna have to re-clean it with your stainless steel cleaner, Amy. Streaks, I've got my grill cleaner. Um, well, it's not grill cleaner. She will never use this pizza oven again. She ruined it by painting it black. She could have just left it alone, but no, she had to ruin it and now they'll never use it. Stainless steel. I bet she's gonna sell it on Marketplace. Hopefully I'll clean that up. See that book? It was for like third graders. It's the girl with the elbow. All right, so it has been a good. Okay, it's been a good day and as it just keeps getting bigger. Keep eating that, keep eating that trough soup. I meant that trough candy, Amy. Good day. It is, what is time is it? I don't even know what time is it. Close to four. I think it's about 3, 30, 4 o'clock. So we had a good long day. We had a lot of stuff to get done in the house, like just picking up and just odd and end things. And then um, we, phone calls, oh my goodness, phone calls, phone calls, phone calls. She's been making so many phone calls during this week that I'm starting to think she may be a telephone sex operator. Let me know in the comments if you think that that's a possibility. Amy does have a calming voice, people say. Got that taken care of for now until tomorrow. And then um, the kids right now, we got done with school. We got our school done and finished. So they're taking a break. They're going to the pool swimming. So I'm like, you guys go swim. I'm going to go clean my bathroom, which is always fun, but it's got to be done in my bedroom. I got my bedding in the laundry, um, washing. So that's going to be good. And I can put that on and then just clean up because I haven't cleaned up anything in here at all from the weekend. So and just clean it. How does your bathroom get so dirty over the weekend? You don't just like clean it up when you're in there? Easy enough to spray where any kind of mold would grow with the bleach stuff. It's good. Scrub this in here. Okay. She used to get in there and really clean. Look, she's still on the phone. I finished my bathroom real quick. I was on the phone. I was doing things, so I was like, hurry up and get done, but I didn't even film it. She's not cooking or cleaning correctly if she's on the phone. Everybody knows when you're on the phone, things get done half-ass. Amy, stop half-assing your life. If you need to be on the phone, go up in your office, take the couple hours, and make the phone calls, and then come down and get your work done. Um, I had laundry out here. I put it in there and got that done. So now I just wash my bedding. I just need to wash my bedding. So I mean, not, not wash it. I need to put it back on. So I'm going to put it back on. I've been upstairs editing for an hour, an hour and a half now. Got most of it to the end. So I only have a little bit more to do. The kids were out in the pool. They were swimming, having a good time. And then they just came in. They said they're getting hungry. And I said, perfect. So I just put the bread. Perfect. Now we're going to have ourselves a spaghetti dinner.
In the oven, I turn on high. We're just gonna let it go kind of really high. I'm gonna turn max. <laughs> so then um, it's gonna. Don't turn it on max, Amy. You never cook on max. Nothing is cooked on max, ever. You cook on max so you can hurry because you're lazy. Stop doing that. That's how it comes out uneven and burnt. Heat up, just gonna look at that, it's so good. Cuban bread, whoever told me to get it at Sam's Club, it is so good. So um, this will just heat up, get a little crispy. We have the butter to put on it. We have the corn on the cob right here. I am just. Too bad you buy Cuban bread and you can't eat it like a Cuban sandwich. Um, making sure that it's warm and the spaghetti is good to go. Put it in some dishes here and we are gonna be done for our day to day. Like school's done, chores are done. So then we're just gonna um, put those towels. You can actually cut, talk to your children and then start re recording again, Amy. Yeah. Wait, and then that's it. And then we had dinner here tonight. So dinner is here. I must. I already scooped out dinner earlier. Let's see. What does she mean? She already scooped out dinner earlier. She already gave kids food, and she's just lying, saying they came in to eat. And my home cooker is like your best friend, isn't it? Like here, look, dinner's done. Like normally, I would have to sit here a half hour. That spaghetti looks wretched. Look at around the edge, how dry it is. Those sticks actually don't even look soft. They look like they're sticking to the edges. Hour before and cook all this and get it done, I was able to do something else because if I didn't, I would have to work later tonight doing editing. So it's worked out. These are our pasta bowls right here. Look at this. How nice these are. Look right here. Pretty nice dish. I don't even know how you make spaghetti look so unappealing because I don't think spaghetti is unappealing. But this spaghetti does not look good. Just put the corn and the bread in them. It doesn't have anything in it. No onions, no anything. She just puts sauce and a pound of meat, and then that's her spaghetti. Yuck. Here's dinner, nice little plate, everything's She good. didn't even cut the bread in half. You're supposed to eat a chunk of bread? Tain, nothing's gonna fall out, so. There's no butter on it? You just cut it open and put butter on the inside. I'm gonna close today's video. You have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'm gonna see you tomorrow with another video. Okay, see you tomorrow, bye. bye. All righty, neighbors, that was it. That was a week in the life of Amy Marion. It was very eye-opening. We see that she kind of makes things up. She says that they ate things, but she didn't make the food. She said that the over the weekend they ate all the food up. She said that she took that um, the beef fried rice in on a in the car. Where did they go? They didn't go anywhere. She said it was a quiet weekend and they stayed home. So when did they eat the beef fried rice? She didn't even talk about eating it because they probably didn't. She didn't even talk about the cabbage soup or when they ate it because they probably didn't. She probably just made those for the show. And then that leaves you wondering, what else did those kids eat? Walking tacos on Tuesday? Pizza on, fr on Wednesday? Chili with beans on Thursday? Those nasty six-day-old fillies on um, Friday? On Saturday and Sunday, what did they eat? Monday they had spaghetti. We never know about the weekends because Amy makes things up. She films in batches and then we're left wondering and she's left looking like she's making things up and lying. Amy, if you want to fix your channel, you have to stop lying. Don't be a liar. That's it. That's my advice for you. Just stop lying. Your life will immediately change. It will change for the better. Just don't be a liar. Everybody else, I hope you have a great day, and I hope that you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next edit. Have a great day, neighbors. 